Okay. Hey guys. Um. <laughs> Uh, let's see if this is working, because I'm frankly not fucking sure, because I still don't understand YouTube at all. <laughs> uh, uh, um, sometimes mm -hmm. I dress up as a dog, <laughs> as a girl, when I fuck you. <laughs> I don't kind of get, um, does that make my dog a role player? Uh, it makes you a furry and your dog a fag. Oof. Oof. <laughs> but, but what's gay about two, two boys just loving each other? There's nothing gay about that. That's com that is uh, completely consensual. <laughs> nothing gay about two bros helping each other out. Too. No, just you know. Sometimes you see your sister in trouble, and uh, you're trying to be like, "Hey, girlfriend, uh, let me help you out. Let me uh, as people are saying, your mic's too low. Let me say some shit. My, I don't know. my mic is what? It's quiet. Uh, I might have to fuck with it a little bit. Uh, just so. not, everyone says my mic is fucking quiet, but this is my recording setup and. And I know how, how loud I am, and and y'all y'all need need some better audio drivers to, to be quite honest. I'm gonna We're fuck you up. We're all quiet. I can't like okay. So I now have my <laughs> shit set up. <laughs> I now have my shit set up so that I think our audio levels are about equal. I can't like boost it more. I I okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna set up your poos poos if you know what I mean. Mm, filters. Can I boost the audio? Let's see. Oh, I can a little bit. Yeah, I, I can. Mean, I could literally just just make my mic louder on my interface. No, I think I can I can boost the gain. Hang on. I'd have to slightly lean forward to do that, and I don't like the idea of that. No, no, I boosted the gain, so that should be better. I think that should be better. Uh, I'll Oof. boost I'll boost your gain, motherfucker. Oof. Oof. <laughs> now you're gonna make me start saying it, fucker. Like the thing is, like everyone thinks I'm, I'm just memeing, you know, haha, he's he's such a goofball, but I'm literally losing control. Like <laughs> I have these weird tics, and they take over my entire. Fu Why the fuck are you laughing? That's fucking sad. Memes literally take over my life. I'm only laughing because it, it sounds like my own life. I'm only laughing because it's too real. I know. It's like my dude. You know, my dude's. It's it's like. Okay. You can't escape okay, from no, my dudes. No, no, no. Tr travel back in time, okay, like f five or six years, and it's like, uh, hello, my name is uh, Layman. Uh, <laughs> you are friend? Yes, you are my dude, okay? <laughs> okay, and now travel six years forward, and people are fucking cunts. You know, there, there are some people who don't speak English natively, and there are some people who don't even have English as a second language, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not that easy. Oh, by the way. kind of stuck with me. No, I look okay. English actually is my native language, and I can't speak it properly because I read everything. So sometimes I pronounce things, and I pronounce them very incorrectly. And those, if I pronounce something incorrectly, I will get fifty comments about the thing I pronounced wrong versus yeah, I know the, the one, <laughs> the one comment I get about something actually related to the content of the video, and it. it I, I know that we're pissing me so so oh, dude like <laughs> oh my dude same thing with fucking research <laughs> okay it's it's like it's like you provide ten papers right and every paper is pretty good and you have this one oddball paper that's kind of controversial for some reason or another and instead of everyone being like okay those nine papers pretty good my man but this one paper ah uh, let's talk about that well, we... everyone is like <laughs> haha you provided this one paper debunked your entire existence mm, debunked oh my god dude you don't even like some guy today not a guy i have an issue with by the way on the twatter was, was um telling me that social science has is um does not follow scientific method and um it doesn't okay provide let's any... let me interrupt you right there right did he say that social science, singular. Yes, he doesn't understand that it's many fields. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I... Now, so let's start with that. Let's start with that. That social science does not follow the scientific method. And then I was like, yeah. And he was like, well, look, uh, at one point later, he was like, well, uh, I provided a study that, that showed that it had effects to all humans. And I was like, yeah, that's called evolutionary social psychology. It's, uh, or just social psychology in general. Mm -hmm. That applies to all fields generally we, or to people across the human spectrum however when he asked me whether or not social science followed any type any social science followed the scientific method i sent him my two favorite studies which i think maybe we should talk about as our favorite social science studies 
just as a fun thing to do. <clears throat> and uh, he was like, well, you just, you, you had a hundred college students. I'm like, yep, that's a real critique. That is a real critique. Does it mean that we cannot take these data and use them as an inference for larger understanding of uh, the human condition? Nah, we can't answer those kinds of questions. Can't bring that up. Uh, okay. And I think that we've we've come to this fucking point, my dude, where it's like social okay. science is put into this really insane box of um, people don't seem to understand that although social science is different from STEM in some ways, and not all social sciences, hashtag not all, uh, that there's such a misunderstanding of it, and Without going into specifics, it seems that there may be a coming storm a little bit on uh, attacks against social science again as being invalid. Right, okay. I, I think uh, we, we kind of need to, since you used the box analogy, we kind of have to uh, unbox the entire thingy mm -hmm. a little bit. The entire um, thingy. I, I, I think that... Okay, first off... You have to very much differentiate between, uh, I, I think, continental, for uh, especially sociology, right? You have to differentiate between continental English and U.S. American sociology, mm -hmm. because continental sociology is just like I, I. I actually talked to a few sociologists over in the U.S., and the overlap of papers that we have read is is absolutely minimal. Like even the absolute basic literature, like like Weber, Durkheim, stuff like that, is only tang tangential at best. It's not. Like, five to ten percent and and the uh, prevalence of really really weird politicized papers over in the u.s is just absolutely astonishing it's it's, it's, it's unbelievable there's so much of it and like, we can't I, I, I do really shit about it i've really dealt with marxism in depth because it's really interesting to me um in in a sense of know thy enemy you know uh, hey i'm dr Lehman. Uh, half of my family was killed by commies so you know Gotta gotta research this shit, <laughs> and and um, and even then it's making up like maybe maybe like five percent of my entire literature, and if I count every neo-Marxist paper that I've read, it's like maybe 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 like seven to, to maybe eight percent of everything that I've read, and that's like a, a fucking lot, and uh, when I compare it to, to the U.S. Uh, American curriculum, it's like a good thirty percent was just neo-Marxism. Like, what the f- what, 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 what? Okay. You haven't even learned methods yet. What the fuck was going on? Well, uh, look, I can't speak for everybody, obviously. I can only say what I experienced, which is that, um, you know, my first week in grad school was, let's explain how methods work. Let's ex And then the first classes we were forced to take were um, pretty stringent uh, statistical, uh, how to run SPSS, how to run statistical analyses, and uh no i so love sp I, okay okay i love and hate spss simultaneously it is a fantastic program that makes things so much easier but at the same time it will fuck you up so easily if you just put it you put in one thing wrong and the entire program fucking shits the bed so um <laughs> that's an accurate depiction of spss it actually kind of is <laughs> uh but, um, but, but okay, let's be honest, at least it's not fucking starter. <laughs> I've not even used that. I've only was, ever used SPSS. The, the, uh, uh, fuck, you know, uh, what was the thing? Um, the really shitty way of, of programming stuff. Um, fuck. Uh, there was even this Navy CSI meme. Um, uh, something, something graphical. Oh, wait, I do. Uh, actually, I did have to use starter once. I forgot about that. Back when I was an undergrad, I had to use Stata. Fuck. I, I, I have to... Visual Basic, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and Stata is like the visual basic of statistical programs. It's like actually really approachable, like if you if you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing. I had to learn it when I was, yeah, when I was an undergrad. I had a really annoying um, situation in undergrad where I, I had to take... A statistical... I, I had to learn how to do statistics under the guy... A guy from Sri Lanka who made us do t-tests in our head. And if you had... A, even if you had a piece of paper to write shit on, you weren't allowed to do that. You Wait, had to do... But, 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 but it's not the guy that researched <laughs> the Sri Lankan civil war, right? No, this guy actually developed the... Um, he developed 
the standards for television programming in terms of like, uh, what do you call it? Like um, N7, N12, N14 standards mm -hmm. for Canadian television. Okay. He was my professor in undergrad <laughs> and he, he forced us to do T-tests in our head. You could not have paper out to, to do it. It was, and he's like, because in Sri Lanka, we beat you over the, the uh, knuckles for using that shit. And um, <laughs> I, it's not docs. Like, he's had hundreds and thousands of students, so it's not really doxing. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, that was a very difficult class. And, but I learned how to do it because it ended up actually coming very easily to me. Uh, although I was super, I used to think I was terrible at mathematics until I realized, oh, wait, if you explain it's it actually... to me. <laughs> you have to just explain yeah, to me how it works, and then I, I'm really good at it. <laughs> um, my, my first experiences with uh, proper quantitative analysis, uh, like on an actual like programming level, like really, mm -hmm. really getting into it, doing actual research, right. was actually with Starter. And I, I will never forget the utter shell shock that I've suffered <laughs> in the fucking class. It's like you had this room with like maybe, maybe like 12 computers, maybe at, at tops. A really, you know, sweaty, damp, hot, shitty room. And we didn't even have like a proper lecture. It was just two artists, like literally, like, I, I should, they, they were literally us beggar artists, right? And they were so good that they decided to, 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 to do the course themselves. <laughs> and they were essentially just half a semester ahead of us, essentially. Oh, that and, sounds like me. And, and they were teaching us, and might it was like, okay, welcome to the, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, please open the computer, you have your class <laughs> open, okay. And then they sat down and started talking about some fucking card game, and you just sat there and was like, what the fuck is, what the fuck is a starter? <laughs> wow, this sounds like the first time I ever taught a college class, <laughs> to be completely honest. This sounds like I'm my first no my first time teaching a college class. I stood up and I was like, uh, 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 uh welcome to to Com One Hundred One, uh, public speaking. Uh, let's go into theories. And then I realized I'm in front of a bunch of fucking eighteen, seventeen year old freshmen on their tel on their fucking cell phones who don't give a shit. And I'm trying to be like, ah, uh, would you please read? I've I've printed out some studies for you all to read. And then I realize, oh shit, these motherfuckers have never even dealt with, like, the most- What is a study, my nigga? <laughs> this- no, I'm serious. This was my first experience with teaching, where I, like, printed out, like, um, you know, uh, real research and handed it out to 18-year-old undergrads, like, they should be able to read it. And- and I realized about halfway through, I was like, wait a minute, this is fucking retarded, what are you doing? You have to, you can't do this to them. They don't understand it. <laughs> and I got better at it over time. But even now, I, I don't have a really good review or series of reviews online because it's like, she's too hard and she's, she makes you do too much work and all this shit. I'm too hard, to be honest. You're too hard, to be honest, right now? Yes. <laughs> wow. Consider me fucking iron poop. Iron pills as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, it was uh, very difficult for me to learn how to communicate with undergrads because essentially you get put in this like um, autism cycle, I'm gonna call it, of uh, you become more and more autistic over time regarding your field and then become more and more uh, disassociated from normal people. <laughs> yep, it, yep. Uh, and, and, you know, as a professor, you have to learn how to mitigate and ameliorate that differentiation, but, uh, it, it's still hard for me. Some people are better at it, because some people, they don't go into science, they don't go into these fields to, um, they go into them to teach, because it's like, I, I find the, the field interesting, but I don't really want to research, I just want to teach, that's cool. For me, I went into it to research, and it was like, oh, you have to teach, and I found out I liked teaching, so, but the biggest problem was, oh, shit. <laughs> How do I explain things in a way that... Because, like, for example, I've been trying to explain for a couple of days now um, what a model is and how we put things into a predictive model. Apparently this Oof, is a... I don't need that. <laughs> I just need common sense, to be honest. <laughs> uh, to be honest, you really only need common sense because uh, statistics are... Uh, they're uh, for nerds. No, my dude. Statistics only really matter when they suit my feelings. That's true. In, in, in other regards, you just need common sense. Common 
my common sense. My common oh, sense. I, 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 you know, I have been getting so much shit for the statement, but I'm going to repeat it. Common sense is where science goes to die. <laughs> why do people? Why are they? Why are you getting shit over that? I know that. that because stupid. people are like, um, only an SJW social scientist could say that. Like, um, like an atom and mm, it spins. It's like mm, common sense. <laughs> I like, can't. I'm. I'm so fucking confused. What the fuck? I. I don't even. I, I just don't know. Like. Like. I. I. I think I had this one good example where it was about. Um. Right. Okay. Uh. My claim was basically, hey. Just because, something may be true, mm -hmm. as long as you don't have evidence, quote unquote evidence for it, at least you know something that supports the claim in, in some sort of sense. You should not just assume it to be 100% absolutely true. Right. It was about Muslims and Muslim criminality. And my uh, the response that I got was, yeah, but uh, it's fucking common sense. It's like obvious. You just have to look outside the window and see all the shit that Muslims are doing. And it's like, yeah, but that's not science. Maybe you just live in a bad neighborhood, you know? Oh, mm, Mr. Ivory Tower. Here we go again. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, sometimes, well, we see trends, so we can, we can, you know, analyze trends, but sometimes the problem is that trends, while they can be indicative and, and can be used for inference, we, and we do need to do that, is look at trends for inference. We cannot just say, it goes both ways. One in that I find it very reprehensible, potentially to use a very extreme term, to see social science being ignored as being stupid or, um, not based in the scientific method, which is a, a complete fallacy. But on the other hand, to take social science research that is not based in experimental design and use that as a predictive modeling, that's also very stupid. Yes, absolutely. Like, I, I, just think, I, I think most people don't really understand that uh, quality is of problem. knowledge is not, is not a dichotomy. Um, on, on one end of the spectrum, you would have just completely subjective, under drug influence, uh, anecdotal evidence that you caught within two seconds and on the other hand of the spectrum you would have like really properly repeated and verified scientific knowledge and there's a lot of things in between right and j j just because something is not scientific quote unquote doesn't mean it's inherently bad a decent statistical analysis of just demographics for example without even showing any sort of causal relationship without having any sort of experimental makeup to it can still be fucking amazing and really, really good and important. After all, that's what we base our governmental policies on. And, I mean, how the fuck would you... Like, this assumption that you can basically conduct the same type of experiments that you can do, for example, in physics with humans is... Unbelievable. It's, it's, it's kind of arrogant in a sense. I don't think it's even arrogant. I think it's... Sorry if the audio is low, guys. I'm trying to turn it up as loud as possible, but... I don't... I actually think it's beyond arrogant. I... No, excuse me. It's it's pre-arrogance. Because arrogance implies some level of knowledge, I believe, or even presumed knowledge. Oof. To, to, I, ooh, is that mean? The, the whole <laughs> idea is that if, if you can't understand why the social sciences are not able to make these sort of insane predictive measures, I think that you misunderstand what the social sciences are intended to do. Now, yes, there are parts of social science that can do this. Uh, in terms of uh, evolutionary... In a super, super narrow field with just... Oh, yes. Man. Like, the really far in, in... Like... Please go ahead. I, I, I'm too frustrated. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm frustrated too. And I don't know what the fuck to do about it. Because it is frustrating. <laughs> in that... What do, you, what do you want us to do at some point? We are providing you with evidence. We're providing you with data. But because they don't, they don't fall within the, the extremely stringent line that you consider to be STEM, thereby they do not exist. Thereby they are of non-value. This is very stupid, frankly, for me to be completely honest, TBH fam. Uh, to oh. just <laughs> deny certain research because it doesn't, you don't like the field it or originates from. It would be like if I just said, I fucking hate physicists. Because I, I just don't like them, so therefore, fuck they gravity. They hurt my feelings. <laughs> they hurt my feelings, therefore, fuck gravity. You know, this is very stupid. <laughs> it's, it's, and, and it's, it's petty, and it's pedantic. I, I, mean, I don't I, get it. 
at, at the same time, I, 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 I'm at least when I'm speaking for myself here, um, valid criticism is super appreciated. Like, I actually have like really long and really good uh, talks about critical rationalism, for example, where we talked uh, the entire argument that we talked about in private about the uh, positivism, quote unquote, just working and being a a great meso uh, layer uh, sort of solution to science. Uh, that's actually from the talk. And y you can criticize and you can be really good. And here's the thing. I, I think that saying that social scientists are good is almost just as stupid as saying social scientists are bad. Yeah. They just are. And they you have are. to look at individual researchers, individual papers, individual disciplines, and slowly and steadily and thoroughly work your way through it. And this attitude of pseudo intellectualism like um i don't need to read it to know it's bullshit <laughs> is um i mean like yeah. i um, the thing that really pisses me off is a lot of really smart people behave that way and it's a shame it's a fucking shame all of those people could be fucking amazing researchers but because they are so indoctrinated by their own idea of I have finally found the truth, and everything that goes against this, regardless of how valid it may be, is just SJW nonsense. It's 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 a shame. It is a shame. Also, it's also, uh, also, oh, it's a, one last thing. Yeah. I fucking love science, therefore I do STEM. Okay. Um, it's like, okay. Uh, first, it's a sort of redundancy. You know, science, technology, yeah. and like, and second, math is is not science. And and I unironically like here's the thing: uh, if if you if if you are in any shape or form involved in actual research, you, you pretty soon realize that math is not science. Math but is different from science, which is I I, I do think it, it's a thing that people struggle with. In that I think mm -hmm. most people who who perce they perceive math as identical to any other form of science, where it's it's not quite that simple, <clears throat> and that math is sort of its own thing. Pure mathematics, at least. Pure mathematics are there is its own thing. Yep, I would like. I'm not really educated on mathematics. All I know Where is I? Uh, Boolean algebra, really. Well, but I, it's like I know statistics. Statistics are what I know, and oh, I of know course, them of course. real well. <laughs> I actually don't. I'm 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 really focused on like QCA. We talked about that. I know you're focused um, on QCA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like everyone has a, has a research waifu, You know, everyone has like a, exactly. a method. That but there's something wrong with that. Like, you know, my, my research waifus are more in the statistical analysis. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You're, you're telling me you you are unable to defend this one niche paper from 1983 from uh, uh, pre-Columbian anthropology in a neo-Hegelian context? Oh, hmm? Yeah, I'm afraid I can't. Unfortunately, people ask me about that, though, honestly, sometimes. Uh, when, I, when, I cite, when I cite no, seminal no, no. work. When I cite Debunked. Seminal... No, okay, cool. When I cite seminal work, I'm citing seminal work because I'm really not, I mean, I'm trying to essentially teach in some ways a, a basic lesson on some of these things. Now, I'll provide modern research when I can, and I and often do, when it's it's related, but when I'm talking about generalized theory, uh, I'm going to cite the seminal, and people have seen something be like, why are you citing this research from 1960? I'm like, well, because that's the seminal, and, may okay, maybe, let let me ask you if this is different, because I don't know why it would be different on the other side in Europe. But we always have to cite the seminal source in our, our literature review. So I always cite the seminal source, because it's the um, most important to look I'm at. Not familiar with, I'm not familiar with the term seminal source. The first study that looked at a, a theory. Ah, right. Um, well, it is considered, uh, you know, etiquette. You know, it's kind of considered good manners to do mm -hmm. it, but it is not a requirement. I would consider it, yeah, etiquette is that uh, I wanted to, to show where it starts. Now, ma yeah, maybe this is very different because in my field, we always cite seminal. We always cite the first study that found it uh, or that identified a theory, that identified a, 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 a whatever you want to call it, a, a trend. Um, we always cite that. I... I think there may be like this one big difference. I'm I'm gonna make an assumption, and please mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong on the assumption. Um, I think there is less for example, transformative uh, work happening in your field than in, for example, sociology. So, for example, um, I could 
Okay, okay, yeah, I, I, that's what I wanted to hear. Let me just finish up. Uh, okay, um, so for example, um, I could reference, say, uh, Weber directly and just make this wake statement on page this and this and this and that. Or I could uh, reference a very recent comment that's from a sort of compiled works. There's also a, an, an analysis, a compilation of uh, other, basically a meta-analysis on his, uh, uh, on, on, on his interpretations. Okay. And then I could use that. In my current and, publication. But, you know, yes. when you're writing your literature review, you always cite, you, you don't start with citing the seminal? Um, I mean, like, it's, it's, it's such a weird question because, like, everyone does it. It's considered good manners. Yeah. But it's not like a written rule to do it. I guess, you know, in my field, it's like work special. Maybe it goes without saying. Maybe we are just more polite than you are, you know? No, I'm saying I'm more polite, motherfucker, because we, we cite the seminal Ooh. always. Uh, <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> we always cite the seminal. And, uh, you know, part of that is, and when I do videos, like, I, look, uh, my videos are not publications, right? So, but what I do is I try to provide people with, Yeah, right. I'm trying to provide people with, like, where to start sources. And where to start is usually the um, the initial source. But then I also try to provide, like, oh, here's what's happening now. You know? Um, and it depends. Like, it, it really, really, really depends on the subject matter. And it depends... Like, for example, so we were going to talk a little bit, I think, about our favorite studies. I thought would be a fun thing. Yeah, but that's also racism. I don't care. Ooh, okay, <laughs> Ooh, I go ahead. Uh, Nibba, I don't care about the racism. Uh, my favorite study is going to be um, with a seminal. So it's going to be Yi and Balenton, 2007. The abstract, I'll just read it. Uh, virtual environments allow us to dramatically alter our self-representation. More importantly, studies have shown that people infer their expected behaviors and attitudes from observing their avatar's appearance, a, phenomenus, a phenomenon known as the Proteus effect. Oh, wait, this is the actual second one. Here's the original one. <laughs> ah, dang it. Uh, I shouldn't have made subscribers make noise. Uh, here's actually, excuse me, I did read the secondary study. This was the original abstract. Oof, virtual fucking fucking rude. Fuck you. Rude. I had them both up. I got them out of order. <laughs> virtual environments such as online games and web-based chat rooms increasingly allow us to alter our digital self-representations dramatically and easily. But as we change our self-representations, do our self-representations change our behavior in turn? In two experimental studies, which uh, both of which were confirmed in terms of the uh, effect, had a sig oh. Oh, by the way, the effect was short people got no re no no reason to live. That was the the effect they found. We explored the hypothesis that an individual's behavior conformed to their digital self-representations independent of how others perceive them, a process we termed the Proteus effect. In the first study, participants assigned to more attractive avatars in immersive uh, virtual environments were more intimate with confederates in a self-disclosure and interpersonal distance task then participants assigned to less attractive avatars. The attractiveness uh, was uh, assigned by, uh, they had like really hideous faces. In our second study, participants assigned taller avatars behaved more confidently in a negotiation task than participants assigned to shorter avatars. We discussed the implications of the Proteus effect with regards to the social interactions in online environments. This is Dr. Nicholas Yi, who now works for Activision's uh, doctoral thesis. It is a fantastic study. Uh, also works out of uh, UCLA, Dr. Jeremy Balenson's lab. Fantastic and very interesting research. Right, but where's the science? <laughs> the science is... <laughs> Fuck you. We can go down to the data. There's so much here, though. There's so much here. Uh, I don't know what would be... Do you want me to talk about the attractiveness or talk about the, the height? Because the height thing is the shit that's really interesting. The thing that I've always liked about this study... And why short people got no reason we, we, to live. We're talking about attractiveness. What? Attract Your attractiveness. You want me to go to the attractiveness part first? It is the talk first about study. your attractiveness. I'm not gonna talk about my attractiveness. I don't know about that. Dab, dab. Blah, blah. Da stop dabbing on me. <laughs> I dab on tomatoes. <laughs> uh, oh. Basically, yeah, they found that. Uh... Give me the name. I'm gonna look look it up if I can. The study. Get it for myself. It's yeah. fascinating. It's 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 fucking fascinating research. It's Yi and Balance in two thousand seven, and then the follow up study is Yi and Balance in two thousand nine. 
the, the, the Proteus effect. Proteus we effect. have all the modification. We, the thing that's so interesting oh. about this is that now oh. we've taken the data from this, we've taken the data from mm -hmm. this, and we're using it now in order to reduce PTSD effects and actually to reduce the f sensations of burning or pain feelings in burn victims. That's pretty. That's pretty amazing. It is. Um, this is why what you want to say like fuck, he... fuck social science. There you go. <laughs> what, what what program did he use to make those uh, tables? I've never seen that. Which uh, in the, the the first study? Take it to you, for example. Yeah. Uh, what I, I um actually what did he use here? Uh, this is probably it's an ANOVA, just a uh, analysis of variance. And I think it's an analysis mm. and a multiple analysis of variance. So and and man. Not what I meant. I meant like literally the, the what program that he used because oh this was zero, very this... early. It was actually like I think it was based on Second Life. Okay, no, you are not getting what I'm asking. Oh yeah, clearly I'm not. <laughs> go, go 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 to page seven of the okay. original paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the top there's figure two categories of transformations in the physical world. Uh, right. Figure two. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, oh, they, this is a very, very early, this was one of the earliest forms of a VR device that we ever had. And this was, I don't know what this is, honestly, because this was only the the um, uh, UCLA team were the only ones who had access to this device. I think they actually built it. Are you memeing me right now? No, they really built this shit. No, this no, is, no, I mean, I mean... I mean this is 2007, <laughs> they built no, this shit. We're, we're talking past each other really hard. <laughs> then I, I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, I'm, I'm just confused. Like, um, in, in papers, you can just always kind of tell, oh, you know, this was done with Starter. This was done with SPSS. This, this was done in, in some... This is SPSS, figure two. Figure two? What am I looking... Okay, hang on. All right, so I'm looking at the right piece of data, right? Okay. Yeah. Figure... Because, like, fi fi figure one looks like SPSS to me. Yeah, figure like, one, uh, table one, table one, what says here, table one is SPSS. When it says figure two, where the fuck is figure two, then? Am I missing this? Because I, I know most people are way too lazy to actually just use like open office or something like that. So they yeah, use actually, a I don't know what this is, honestly. It's so weird. I've never seen something like that before. Actually, hang on, no, I don't know what this is. It's so weird. It's so it's so funky. <laughs> yeah, it is funky. I don't know what this is. I think it's probably they just made it to use it as a visual representation for the publication. It may be, and that's really fucking rare. Like, I don't really know anyone that would just, this, just do this, that. Let me tell you, this particular group of researchers, they're just the fucking best in the country, and they know they are, so sometimes they do stupid shit like this. But I think, maybe. But Jeremy Balenson, by the way, very cool guy. Like him a lot. Very nice man. Uh, it might have been that they were just like, whatever, you know, on the, the figure. T I didn't even, yeah, we're not talking about it. I just missed what you were saying about that. Of, yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> it's very cute, though. Um, um, <laughs> um, Split, Shadow, Split Shadow asks in the chat, in which social science journal should I, pu should I publish my auto-ethnography -ethno of playing <laughs> 2,000 hours of RuneScape? <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you, you should publish it uh, in uh, media psychology. Or media effects. Me Either one would fucking... take it. Oh, fucking media psychology. Fuck you! Fuck you! Let's fucking go! A square go like! How no, dare you! Wait, 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 okay, wait. <laughs> I just remember this one. Fuck, what, what, uh, give me a second, give me a second. Uh, I need to find the article. It was like one of the most amazing things I've ever read. What? Was, it, it's not from my field, is it? I, I don't know. Even if it was, like, every field produces crap at I mean, times. That's, tr that's true, that's true, but I feel like I, I have to always like be worried that somebody said something really stupid in my field there's only like 200 scientists in my field you know that right there's like two or three hundred of us so we're, yeah, we're I know. very you're fucking small you're super neat you're <laughs> super niche aren't you yeah there's not a lot of us <laughs> oh yeah i do that, that i'm not gonna lie i'm actually kind of jealous because it's like yeah i'm, a, I'm even like in the my like, specialized department of sociology i'm not gonna disclose what it is but it's like even then i'm like one of thousands <laughs> and you're like yeah i do this and i'm like one of a select 200 and it's like fuck you aiden fuck you 
<laughs> you're like, special. Just you're just cute. Us. There's just not a lot of us. There's not a lot of media psychologists because it's a weird fucking field. Now, I mean, like people who who specifically identify as media psychologists are a little bit different people who study media occasionally. There's just not a lot of people who specifically define themselves as media psychologists. I mean, it's like Dr. Zillman and, uh, you know, maybe Dr. McCroskey before he died a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Dr. Um, oh, God, uh, Tamburini. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre <laughs> was a definite hardcore media psychologist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, fucking yeah. Dr. Dre. <laughs> Just imagine, like, fucking Dr. Dre standing on, on a tribune and being at a, at a conference talking about confidence intervals. <laughs> The, the margin of error, my nigga. <laughs> but you know I'd pay money for that. Good, I'd pay money. Good, it brings up a good point, which is that I don't think the majority of people understand that. I think that they. I really do think that the majority of people, when they talk about social science, they think that we are all just sitting here with our asses in our hands, sniffing our own farts, with with just making shit up, and like we have no idea how to account for error or variance, that we're just making shit up. <laughs> And it's like, no, I mean, and I understand less about, I don't understand a whole lot about sociology or mixed methods. My, my advisor is mixed methodology, more based, and she's more qualitative. But like, um, I mean, the things that I know about, about mixed methods are mostly um, grounded theory, you know? I, I don't know yep. a whole lot about how, how to, to do um, more observational more qualitative research I, i'm just retarded in it it's not my field and and we do end up unfortunately it's a it's a truism about social science or any science is that you end up in um little boxes yep you absolutely do uh, yeah, i don't know how to conduct any kind of i mean i can do a um a, a grounded theory based content analysis but i would work i would really ask a colleague of mine to help me on it because i wouldn't know how to fucking do that i only know how to do fucking numbers dude yeah, actually, it's it's the same for me. Just just the other way around. Like whenever I would do like like something a little bit more high level, multivariate, uh, uh, you know, haha, <laughs> <laughs> haha. It's, I would definitely ask someone just 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 to check my coding, you know, just to check because I think this added layer of abstraction between the observed sort of world and the operationalization towards numbers that is actually still the one thing that's kind of difficult for me. Like, I, I, I just appear to have a weird understanding of it, it seems. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, also, I don't think there's much shame in that. You know, that's one of the yeah. reasons why people do research teams. So you have exactly. one guy who does the introductionary qualitative research, one guy who does the data collection because he's very good at it, and one guy who does maybe the uh, fucking analysis of it. Well, it's how I've always worked, is that, you know, um, yeah, is that, you know, some, well, I think we need to work in tandem because, for example... Um, I can't work with um, group data collection uh, in terms of like having a group of people all together. And I asked, they, they have now done the Likert type instrumentation. They've taken, they've been exposed to the Likert type instrumentation. That is, they took a survey I gave to them. And now I want to understand their more in-depth thoughts. So I put them all in a room and we have a round table discussion. I can't do that. I'm way too autistic. I would not, yeah. I'm not good for, I'm not good at that. Um, you could, someone else is way better at collecting those data and being able, and then, you know, we could have them, uh, even if it's not just, a, and all of these types of data are interesting and potentially of value. The person who collects the data from a group type um, instance or somebody who, who is able to run a, a content analysis mm -hmm. on open-ended questions. These are all in uh, potentially very influential and interesting data that are beyond just the mere um, numerical output. Uh, hey, I'm going to throw, throw a notion in here, you know, just just give me a quick thought on that. Mm -hmm. um, I have the very radical notion that there is not such a thing as, quote unquote, useless science or stupid research or mm. uh, unnecessary research. I think even if you were to say, hey, you know what, I'm going to research how horse farting correlates <laughs> to uh, I don't know, house, housewife uprisings, you know, something like that. Um, even that is still, in my opinion, viable research. Because you Absolutely. never know what you will you, find at the end. You really don't know. Uh, Stop agreeing with me! Well, no, you don't. Fucking hate you. Fuck, no, 
you really think we're not going to agree on stupid shit like that? No, of course. Um, um uh, no, of course. Uh, so yeah. In this case, we brainwashing confirmed. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it, it's not really that surprising, is it? Um, that we would agree on that because no, it's my whole thing is that like I I think really anything is look okay. You're talking to a media psychologist. You think I think that there are some things that we shouldn't research? When I'm like, how do people react to video game? And that's, that's my concern. How do people feel about game? <laughs> that's my concern? Yeah, I think everything is, is a, a, maybe not equal. But, oh, uh, you know, speaking of video yeah. games, what really pisses me off is the eternal myth of there is literally no data suggesting a link between violent video games and violent behavior. I'm not saying that violent video games do make you violent, but we've got some incredible amounts of quote-unquote data that point in this direction. And I'm not debating the validity of it, I'm just saying it exists. And maybe Hang if you're on. trying to make a point about it, you but should But you know cover. that those data... Are about like... aggressive cognition, yes, emotion, it's aggression. behavior. It's aggression, it's not violence, but we... No, 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 hang on, you have to understand that those are disparate variables. No. They are. No, I'm just, just saying the layperson doesn't know that. Okay, well then fuck them. <laughs> you can't, oh, yeah, that's mean. They just want to be involved. I'm not trying to be that mean, but like, this is the whole point. This is the entire fucking purpose of that research, which is to be, uh, fuck you, here's my shitty fucking research that doesn't make any sense, uh, that has nothing to do with the thing <laughs> I'm claiming. Uh, you better believe it because I know that some goddamn Fox News reporter is gonna pick this up and be like, oh, no video game calls violence. <laughs> I feel bad about game. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that shit. Violence and aggression are complete, and also we don't even get into how aggression is operationalized, which is oh, complete oh, bullshit. Mm, I know, I and know. And you know how it's bullshit. So fuck Wait, this. Aiden, 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 Aiden. Mm -hmm. Calm down. I'm, I'm we agree. Down. We, <laughs> I know we, you we agree, agree, but you're still gonna make me mad. <laughs> we agree on the entirety of everything, right? Um, <laughs> I, I mean, like, oh, you, speaking of like aggression, um, even like the debate about how does aggression translate into actual behavior is like such a fucking controversial uh, yeah. minefield. Like, haha, we, we, <laughs> like just just recently, I think the most recent edition is uh, gener the general aggression model, mm -hmm, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And it seems kind of promising, but, but even that is just being kind of, you know, <laughs> it's, a, the, it's like the fucking... The general aggression a, model proposes essentially that prolonged exposure to um, uh, media that increases aggression may potentially lead to violence, from my understanding. However, we cannot either isolate this, nor can we prove it uh, through a um, regression predictive model. Absolutely. My statement was a relative statement. It was meant to say, compared to many other models, it appears to be a rather promising one. If we compare it to the... Oh, fuck, what's it called? The... Um... um... Fucking priming, yeah, fucking priming. <laughs> well, priming is a terrible... Okay, priming is a terrible <laughs> effect. Well, although we find consistent effects with priming, priming's a terrible effect. Priming can have all kinds of associations because the brain is such a fucking clusterfuck that any kind of associations that the brain might make between a priming uh, uh, instance... We, we can't... This is not a consistent model. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm <laughs> citing it as a bad example. <laughs> Well, it's good to at least be able to... Sometimes I feel, and I'm sure you understand this too, like I'm talking to walls or like I'm talking... Like I'm taking crazy pills when I talk to people about social science because it's like... Because you talk to people who don't understand it and I think often willingly don't understand it, you know? I'm, like I'm they, actually they isolated hate it. In, they hate it as an assumption. idea. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I actually think I isolated a big chunk of it. Um. Like, only anecdotal, of course, only anecdotal. Um, I think it's the assumption, I am a human, therefore I have a innate, deep, and scientific understanding of human behavior, because, you know, I, I'm a social person. And I, I think it's kind of the, the root of all evil, because um, the moment you dismantle that, and you are like, okay, just because I'm on a planet, I'm not an astrophysicist, just because... I use a car, I'm not a fucking mechanic, just because I warm up a cup of noodles in my microwave, I'm not a cook. 
as soon as you dismantle it, then you're like, okay, maybe I'm just working on assumptions. Maybe I'm just running on thin air. Maybe I should question stuff. That's the moment you actually start to kind of learn stuff. But as long as you have this assumption of, of, I'm a human, therefore I understand everything about humans on a scientific level. I, as long as you have that, there's no debating with people. Well, there's no I don't talking. Know. To them. I, I've seen people who claim to have degrees just say like, um, "Oh, y y social science can't predict everything about humanity, therefore it's not a real science." And it's like, I, I don't even know where to start with that kind of thing. I, I really don't. I, I, it, it makes me feel so confused and lost. It's, I know the feel. It's like you're not even angry. You know, I'm not even angry at most no. people. I'm just like, what, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh, dude. No, that's it. It's that I don't, I don't know where to start with you. It's, it's. <laughs> It's like okay, uh, sit down. Let's 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 start with fucking, you know. Let's start with uh, let's uh, let's start, start with the philosophy of nature, okay, and then <laughs> let's slowly work our way, you know, towards the current date, you know. But I think <laughs> so, like you you said this to me the other day, which is that like you would have to make every video four hours long, and that the first three hours would just have to be like, "Welcome to social science. Let me explain it to you." <laughs> And even then it would be like, okay, and in these three hours I can basically only really speak about sociology. And even well, then why only predict about... the field. I can only speak about communication. And that's like, you know <laughs> and and someone will say they'll they'll just come into the comments and put uh, sociology. Ha 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 retarded. You know? <laughs> it's like okay, great. Debunked. <laughs> just Hashtag debunked. debunked. <laughs> <laughs> communication has to because i get it all the time if you think like here's the thing even though you know that i'm a, a pure quantitative autist right you know that about me I'm, I'm very quantitative and very autistic about it i'm still a communication scholar which means that if you think sociology gets like ha ha what the fuck is this can you imagine coming to someone being like hello i study communication <laughs> oh i i oh my dude you, oh, I, know you, I literally know your pain. Because I, I, um, how many people are in the stream right now? Two hundred. Okay. Um. Fuck. This is a bit too many. I, had, I, I, I. I. Okay. I held a class in. Um. All I can say is that it was framed and and a, a, an agenda was set, mm -hmm. and that's all I can say about that. And, and, uh, like. I actually can't go into that without without doxing myself, but I okay. fucking well, don't know worry about it. Don't every, do it then. I know every feel that you have, and you have my <laughs> utmost sincere <laughs> condolences. Like I would hug you right now if I could. <laughs> it's fine. Like the whole thing is that, like, yeah, the field of communication has this terrible, and well, part of it is that. So I'll tell you a story. This is a very fun one. I'm sitting in, and I don't care about dox myself at this point. People have already doxed me. I'm sitting in the uh, graduate student office when I'm a master's student. This guy comes in and he says, hello, I am looking to take a test um, for my communications class. And I said, Commun com? I said communication or communications? Because communications, the journalism department, it's up the hill. <laughs> and he said, it's about talking. And I was like, no. okay, hang on. <laughs> and I said, okay, do you know the name of the class? He's like, no. I said, do you know the name of your professor? No. This is, by the way, this was November, so this was like three and a half months into the the, the fucking semester, so he, he should have known at this point. <laughs> and I said, can you describe to me what your class is about? And he said, I don't know talking or some shit <laughs> okay okay that's fucking iron pilled i'm not gonna lie that is fucking iron pilled right there you're not wait wait because it gets better stop no stop it gets better it actually gets better and i said okay is it and i try i was like giving him questions like what are you talking are you talking about like um you know how to communicate to a group of people or like um in between two individuals he's like i don't know hang on Picks up his cell phone. <laughs> Mom, what class am I supposed to take this test for? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no. 
And he tells me, he's like, it's uh, Professor So-and-So's class. Well, he was a PhD student. It's it's so-and-so's class. And I said, ah, I will take you to his office. So I, I take him upstairs and take him to the office. And I'm like, Greg is in here. Not that one. <laughs> Greg's in here. Wait for Greg. He will come and get you. Wait for Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Social sciences. Do like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> okay. Wait for Greg. Greg, we'll come and get you in a minute. <laughs> Greg's gonna administer your test for you. No, you fucked up. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. It's true. His name was Greg, though. It's true. Fuck off. It's true. No. His name was Greg. He was no. kind of a piece of shit. The entire department didn't like him. It's actually very true. The entire department whoa, 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 wanted to get the fuck out. What a <laughs> I, I, oh, um, I actually have a story. It's it's much shorter, much more complex. Hang on, this but, not the end. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm end. ready. I'm ready. I went back down to the grad student office. About 20 minutes went by. The guy came back downstairs and he said, I don't understand what to do. And I said, did you go talk to Greg, your professor? And he said, oh, I didn't know I was supposed to talk to anybody up there. So he just went and sat in the PhD student office and didn't say shit to any of them. Are you so fucking I, kidding me? No. So I had to walk up there and tell his name, his class, and, and all the shit to Greg <laughs> to be like, take care of your baby here, because he's got some issues. Yeah. <laughs> he's gone. He's fucking gone. You know, you know, the lights are still on, but nobody's fucking home, my man. <laughs> yeah, that kid. Well, I won't reveal too much, but he was a a, a sport player, so he had ah, some right, special... Right. If you don't understand enough about American uh, institutions, we just allow... Uh, anyone who plays a sport ball to be as retarded as possible and get a degree. But go ahead with your t your tale. Um, it was actually one of the first things that I've ever done. Um, and... <sighs> hey, everyone, and welcome to, uh, this subject. Um, um, it's a subset of social sciences. And I would very much like everyone to uh, introduce themselves. I literally take the first person left to me, right? A, a young girl, and I'm like, please introduce yourself. And it explained to me why you would, you know, like to take this class. It was only about 12 people, and I thought, you know, why not get to know each other? She stood up, said her name, and said, well, I'm going to take these social sciences because I've, I've always considered myself to be a very social and outgoing person. <laughs> and that was the moment where I just sat down and realized in what fucking nightmare I am. <laughs> Yep, there you go. Oh, why does really why you have to you know, fucking like to take this? <laughs> like, the thing is, I don't think the chat can understand, like, how that feels if you're, like, a social scientist and someone tells you that as his motivation for, for, for fucking... Uh, I'm sorry. The, uh, I, the no, frustration no, of the autism. No, no, you're never I'm going sorry. to understand it. No, no, they'll never... It's not, it's not bad on the chat. And it's not bad on anybody. <clears throat> it's just that... Absolutely not. What? Absolutely not. It's like no. Of course, it's not. No one's ever gonna have your life experiences to, to quote the <laughs> critical cultural uh -huh, my research. My lived experiences. Your lived uh -huh. experiences. But it is true, in that I cannot expect the chat to fucking understand what it's like to be in a position where you have to teach a functional bunch of retards, or bunch of I functional know. retards, how to do. Look, like I said. The first time I taught interpersonal communication and the first time I taught public speaking, I said, I'll just, I'll give him some studies and we can read these and then we can talk about them in class. No, that's not a thing we're going to do because no one's going to read it. And I'm going to come into class and be like, did everybody enjoy the studies I gave you? I thought they were really interesting. They didn't find them interesting because they didn't read them. And, and even when I would go through things of being like, let me show you how to read a piece of research, because I would spend entire classes on that. Didn't help. They don't care. Yeah, but... Yeah. They just don't care. 
but, but it's not even that. Like, I, I, I found, um, I, I found that a lot of students, like, okay, let, let's be, let's be completely honest here. Students are the cancer killing research, right? They, they, they are, they are absolute fucking cancer. Well, we can use them as as data, though. If yeah, we, we yeah, at, at least something, you know, at least something. But like, I, I. I remember, unironically, a class of about 15 people taking a good 20 minutes to go into a starter script and change the letter of their hard drive from X to their respective hard drive letter. Mm -hmm. And it's basically right-click on the script, open as, notepad. And then the fifth or sixth line, depending on uh, whether or not you actually do a clear all at the beginning what you should do, but, you know, uh, is literally the file directory with a big comment written next to it in the master script please change this letter to represent the letter of your hard drive and 20 minutes a good 20 minutes it's it's absolutely astonishing how those people ever got into university <laughs> <clears throat> more or less yeah i mean, I mean I we're, getting, we're getting kind of kind of vicious here shouldn't we do something this more? is mean yeah i think it is a little mean and, and it's I, also I'm, kind of kind of therapeutic <laughs> to be honest <laughs> It is therapeutic because I fucking hate this shit. And it, it is so frustrating. Not just, like, I, I'm not just frustrated at the students. Because I'm certainly frustrated at the students on some level, okay? I really am. But um, on another level, I am also just frustrated at everything that leads into it. You know? It's not entirely their fault that... And also, and I've been... Look, I, I don't know if you've ever taught or how much you have taught undergrads. But I would say this, that you, you get a kind of, um, <clears throat> when you get a little bit of respect from undergrads, from them being like, you're really harsh. So I have terrible reviews, by the way, I'm my professor. I have terrible reviews. They're, they're not very nice. <laughs> Primarily because I don't give, um, what would you call it? Uh, I don't get good boy points. Oof. <laughs> I don't do it. I'm sorry. I just don't like. And I, I, I used to when I started. I gave good boy points. I'd be like, "Well, you showed up today. Good for you." Mm -mm. I don't do that shit anymore. So, uh, yeah, I have a very low rating, and it's like, like I get the. By the way, I have a pepper. I have the chili pepper. Do you have that in, uh, in wherever? Uh, 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 we have only right my professor. Yeah, right my professor. But you get like a chili pepper, right? Where like if you if the professor is hot or not, if they're mm -hmm. physically attractive. I've, I've never paid attention to it. I've only shit posted there, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Would, by the way, neither have I. So I've got the chili pepper um, hot, but I've got a really low rating. <laughs> because sounds, I'm, sounds pretty good to be honest. It does sound uh, pretty I, good, because uh, you know you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna attend to one of your classes. You know oh, why not? Would you like to? Would you, okay. Well, I mostly teach uh, Com 105. I'm, and, I'm just uh, gonna com... be the, the guy sitting in the background, and literally every second word you say is gonna be. Mm, but how exactly is that science? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I ca if someone actually did that in one of my classes, I don't know what I would do. I'd be so pissed. I would be so fucking pissed. I would. I don't even know what I would do. I'd be so angry. I'd dab on you, to be honest. Don't dab on me, please. Okay, I, to be I, I promise I won't. To be honest, please don't. Okay. To be honest. Well, I gotta yes. really do something about my microphone, because at the moment, I'm in a really uncomfortable position to speak into it. But when do? I get into well, a comfortable position... what kind position, of position are you in? Well, um... <laughs> have, you, have, you ever, have you ever heard of a proper split? No, it's not, it's not that bad, but, you know, it could be a bit more comfy, so I apologize for any <laughs> microphone noises you may hear. Oh, no, <sighs> I'm sure we're all going to be very, very accepting of your mo microphone noises. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. What Aiden, have you could done? You could you mute, mute me? My microphone is falling apart. Could okay, you mute me? Okay, hang on. Well, I gotta find the thing. Please. <laughs> Oh, no. I don't know how to mute you. Oh, Shit, no. I don't know how to do it. Oh, no. No. I don't know how to do it. Oh, wait, I do, I do. Hang on. Okay, now you're muted.
I think. Okay, yeah, you're definitely muted now. What are you doing? Hey guys, how's the chat going? Layman appears to be having some problems. So, let's entertain ourselves while he fixes his shit. I know you can't hear him because I muted my desktop audio, so... <laughs> I can hear you, but they can't. <laughs> I don't know how to mute you. <laughs> Are you alright? Uh oh. What's comfortably resting on your shoulder? Oh, f that sounds like a good s fucking setup. Don't. No, hang on. Be okay. It's alright. You want me to like sing you like a like a, a nursery rhyme or something to. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh I can't tell um people are saying I'm too soft but I I turned your shit up really high because it was a little bit soft <clears throat> I'll be looking at it Oh, god damn. I'm gonna turn you back on then. Yeah. Okay, you're live Whew. now. Hey, nothing happened. I was just. I was just having a smoke. Nothing. No. You're just having a fag, you know? Yeah. Just yeah. sucking one down. Yeah, and a cigarette as well. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, what an original joke. It's a very, okay. it's a very unique original joke to talk about fags as cigarettes. Ha ha. Oof. Oof. God damn it! You'll, you'll, tr you'll fucking transmit this disease to me. Ha ha! I submit it to it because trans is a disease. Ha ha. <laughs> uh, my, uh, like, my, mm, Aiden, have you ever ventured into the comment section of my Paul Chase Watson video? I sure have. What, 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 what do you think? I think that you have found the most interesting group of people on the universe. It's, it's, on it's the universe. Because <laughs> I don't think they're really existing in it normally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like on, on an external sort of level. Yeah. It's a, it's a very special group of people, isn't it? It sure is. Like I said uh, in the last stream we were in, of people being like, uh, oh, you did, oh, you're, you're posting scientific research? Well, that's not evidence, because researchers are all biased and just trying to prove themselves right. I'm not no, saying no, no. you're necessarily wrong, but your <laughs> level of understanding on how science works is so off. <laughs> you're, you're telling it a little bit wrong, okay. Uh, the first comment was basically, where's your evidence? Mm -hmm. Where's your facts? Mm -hmm. Where's your data? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just basically copied my description and was like, here, and it's like, I think, 11 or 12 papers on depression and, and uh, the effects right. of daycare on children. And the response was, ah, but that's clinical studies. That's not research. That's not clinical science. Clinical isn't that's real. Not evidence. Yeah, like the basically. Post, my, my, the goalpost didn't move. It fucking phased out of existence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah more or less. Yeah, that was... I mean, don't um... get me wrong, though. It's legit criticism to make against the video and against me. Like there is a lot of legit criticism to be made, but but Jesus Christ, I think I found the, the literally the most retarded place on the internet, and I, it's um, Paul Joseph Watson. I would never have imagined that the most retarded place on the internet would have been Paul Joseph Watson's uh, comment section, but apparently it is because holy shit, people saying that research <laughs> doesn't real. And uh, all of this is so stupid. This is Just next level sense. retardation that I don't know. I don't know how to respond to, man. 
You just need common sense, my nigga. Just my nigga. Just... Apparently, <laughs> who needs science oh, when you have shit. common sense? <laughs> What's up, my nigga? Holy fucking shit! I don't what? know, dude. It's so weird. Oh, okay. Oh no, I'm just confused as to how you you get how do you get to that point? I have to ask. Ah, uh, you you mean like a viewer of Paul Joseph Watson, or what do you mean? I, as a as a human, I mean as a as a normal human being, how do you become that retarded? I, I. <laughs> exactly, it's confusing, right? Like the thing is, I, I don't really expect like. First, I don't really think I'm smart. I'm just really autistic about it. Really. That's how I feel about content. myself. So I and, think we're in agreement. <laughs> yes, and it's like I'm not expecting that much from people. It's like even a monkey could basically point towards a journal and select a proper article to do <laughs> something, you know. And it's like I, 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 I think we kind of should update our understanding of cognitive abilities. Because it genuinely seems to me that at least a good third of humanity is functionally retarded. <laughs> I kind of feel that way sometimes. I don't know what else to do, dude. Like, I think that we have this, um... Okay. So, I personally... And I've said this before. Oh, stop, is that... stop, stop, stop. Right there, stop okay. right there. Could you give me blush uh, in the in the background picture? Uh, I c Well, give me a second. I'll have to make a new picture. Also, g g give me g give me a a monocle and a, and okay. a top hat well, and a cigar. Well, hang on, this I'm, is a lot to ask for now. Uh, no, just just do it in paint. I don't care. I'm, I can't do I gotta, it in paint. I gotta you be, gotta do it in, I, in Photoshop. I, hang on. I, I gotta be skeptical. All right, okay. You're asking a lot here. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm gonna say one thing. Go ahead. I'm absolutely pissing myself that the lead meme is becoming a meme. Good. Uh, all your memes and will be destroyed. All your memes will be copied, and no, you have no one to blame for but meme. yourself. Oh, dude, it's actually a real social science meme. It's funny. Hmm? It's it's like uh, the the letter meme. Basically, uh, in the nineteen eighties, there was a big study linking uh, the prevalence of lead in childhood homes mm -hmm. and in the bloods of children to all sorts of cognitive disabilities, uh, learning impediments, uh, violent behavior, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. In 2001 and 2008, there was a two, two big other papers on it. And it's like, holy shit, this appears to be really significant, especially in suburban America, United States of America. It could potentially explain quite a bit. And nobody's talking about it. And it's kind of just becoming this meme that w whenever someone's fucking retarded, it's just like, yeah, he, he's drinking too much Let's Pill supplements. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. Hang on, I'll, I'll make your shitty fucking thing. It just takes me a minute. <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, one of us knows how to use Photoshop really well. <laughs> uh, Wait, I'm, I'm fucking iron through the Photoshop. I just used GIMP. <laughs> yeah, GIMP's for fags. Oof. 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 No, okay. Oof. no, we disagree. Really? Yeah. Then I... we actually don't give this fucking shit. I don't like it. It's I. You know, here's the thing. Paint is fucking amazing if you just really quickly need something done, like... Um, Why I do you use I do... paint? I use Photoshop. Photoshop is fucking cancer. Haha, I'm gonna eat fucking 16,000 gigabytes of your fucking RAM to, to render... I mean, I guess that's true, but asshole. like, whatever... Well, I don't... I'm not making a bunch of JPEGs of my asshole. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know how many JPEGs of your asshole you're making. I mean, maybe the, the, if you're making a lot, then... I want to fight you. Also, there's a good meme on Twitter for you. Okay, hang on. I'm still trying to, to do the, you your do request. Do faster, you piece of shit. I can only do it so fast! <laughs> it takes me a minute. A hot minute to do such a thing. So you're uh, saying you're heat in heat again, right? No! Stop trying to make sexual things at me. My boyfriend will I've, hear I... it and get upset. Oof, I've never done anything sexual with another living person. You've... Only No, you're very pure. Yes, I am very pure. Please donate. <laughs> <laughs> You've never done anything sexual with another living human being. We all know that, yes. I mean. Yes. C uh, call me... 
Lay, 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 gin. lay virgin. Lay the virgin, meme. yeah. The meme. <clears throat> it's getting a little bit sexual in here. It's oh, always I'm been sexual go. in here. Let's get real. Yeah, kind of, kind of. <laughs> you know what's really fucking sad? It's, huh? I mean, look at the caricature of a person I've become. Yeah? And I'm the one screaming, we should do better science. <laughs> I know! I know! It's so fucked. Aiden, let's abandon this timeline. This timeline's fucked. What what timeline were we supposed to move to then? I don't know. Let's just move to one where just humanity fucking died to the Black Plague. <laughs> let's just oh let's God. just chill with fucking fucking <clears throat> hyena something. I don't I don't know. Okay, I think I've got this fixed. All right, okay. it only took me a minute, but uh... let's see. Took me a whole hot minute. Uh, there you go. Wait, that's not it. <gasps> oh, it may not have saved it. Hang on. Sometimes uh, this does a weird thing. Uh, PNG, please. <clears throat> Okay, let's see if that worked. No. There we go. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait until it. Yeah, it'll take a second. It, for it, to, it, it will take a second to update on the YouTube stream. Uh, wait. Well, we can just wait now. Hey, mm -hmm. Mitch is here too. Hey, what's up, Mitch? I thought you went to sleep because you said you had to do a thing. Oof. Oof. Fucking traitor. I know. Fucking traitor, piece of shit. <sighs> yeah, mm. You forgot the cigar, but okay. I, I'm, I'm... I didn't hear you say cigar. I did. <laughs> oh, I, I missed that then. <laughs> Even the chat is hashtag no cigar, you can fuck off. Oh, fuck you. Okay, holy sh. Okay, you just, hang you, on, you, you, Ben. No, Aiden, fuck. You, you ruined the stream. You fucking ruined it. I did not. I did not. I did not. I did not. Oh, hey, Mitch. Oh, hey, Mitch. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the, the social science room. This is the this is the social I, science room. I did not. Regression did analysis. Not. Yeah, I did not. I oh, did hey, Mitch. Not. How was your qualitative comparative analysis? <laughs> Nobody does qualitative comparative analysis except for you. It's the shittiest that, fucking form of research. Let's get real. That was actually kind of hurtful. I'm, not I'm sorry. Lie. But really, what's better? Qualitative comparative analysis or, um, come on. A weed. Yeah, a weed, to be honest. Or weed, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest. Lamau. I mean, Lamau, man. You know what I'm saying? What if I just give you a joint? Would that work? <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it, but it has to be like a fucking massive blunt. Yeah, it's gonna be a massive blunt, of course. Nice. It, it, it'll take up like half the screen, so that, like no one will be able to ignore it. Um, <clears throat> why do I have to do this kind of like fucking Photoshop work like halfway through a stream? I don't know because you suck. I'm gonna punch you. Fuck you. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I have to do this work halfway through a fucking stream, and I'm not. I mean, this seems uh, kind of unfeminist to me. Yeah, fuck women. They should be. Um, they are all doo doo heads. That's true. And, and also, they, fuck feminism. Silly. That's true. Oof, Oof that's, that's true. That's racist, my nigga. That's very true. I mean, it is true, we can't deny it. Uh... Okay. Alright. Oof. <laughs> Let's see, can I find it now? There we go. There you go. You're fucking well- Oh, now I have to remove this. Alright. Is this better? <laughs> Well, wait. Let's just wait a little bit updates. And yeah, then just I'm wait, gonna... push wait, and tell me what you think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. I'm gonna peer review it. Yeah, give me the peer review. Wait, fuck, I gotta 
can you just pretend not to know me? Like not, not I to have know no idea. I this is a completely blind yeah. peer review of the new yeah. image. Uh. Completely blind peer review. This is how real social science works. My nibbles. Yeah, it's fucking shit. I'm gonna Hang publish on. it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So it really is a terrible image. <laughs> My, it's, it, this is one of the most skeptical things I've ever seen on YouTube. I'm looking. At. <laughs> it's. I'm fairly skeptical of it. I'm not. I'm, I have reached such a level of peak skeptical. <laughs> I'm not skeptical anymore. The horseshoe theory. It's true. It's real now. It's real. Horseshoe theory is real. Oh my god. <laughs> This is next level retardation. <sighs> oh, the monocle disappeared somehow. I don't know how that happened. Oof. You, you still pass peer review in my Indian, <laughs> Indian pay, to, pay to publish journal. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it's so difficult to get published when I publish in a complete piece of shit journal that just requires me to pay them $200 a year for a subscription. <laughs> Oh, welcome to shit other people, again, don't uh, fucking know anything about. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what, is, what is predatory journal practices? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I feel bad for people who fall for that shit. I mean, like, yeah, please, please publish my fucking doctoral degree. My thesis, please. Please, please. My doctoral thesis, please. Nah. It's so, worthless. So, um... We should, we should we should get someone in here and just autism him to death. Okay, well, who should? <clears throat> I want some. Fu I want someone fun, you know, someone like Greg. Edgy. I can get Edgy. Uh, edgy is. A, I like Edgy, but he's not as retarded as Greg. Well, he's not and, retarded edgy, at all. I'm, I'm a good friend. Hang on, don't you, friend. Friend. don't you insult my friend? I've done a fucking video series. Don't you insult my Nazi? Come on. I've, I've done a video series with him. Okay. Uh -huh. We good. We good. I know. I, I'm. He, he knows. I'm saying with, with a lot of love. Okay, with a lot of love. I know. I'm just saying that having, having Greg in here. Okay. I'm well, us how do we get uh, Greg in here? I don't know. That's your job. You you have a vagina. But he has a girlfriend. True. He's not gonna be enticed because he's be, he'd be too afraid. Uh, uh, could I grab uh, I JF? Could... Or I could grab JF, maybe? No, he he debunked me. I'm horrified. He debunked both of he, us. Oh, he he debunked my... You know, he debunked me I so hard. I would like hard. him to I debunk both. Literally... I think we would both, in a sort of masochistic way, in, enjoy being debunked. I actually, like, I, I, I still haven't properly fully understood him. He's a... He is a biologist? Yeah, he's a biologist, yeah. Right, that would explain quite a bit because I was pretty surprised to see such a. I, I've seen, I think, two videos of his, and seeing the level of understanding was kind of spoopy. Yeah, in it, it's, you're not you're not expecting it, right? Because it's on YouTube, and you're like, oh, it's gonna be a retard, and it's like, no, it's not. Yeah. Also, like the format really lends sort of credibility because it's just him talking. Yeah. Like live on stream. I know. I it's because he knows what I... the fuck he's talking about, which is so insane. Like even you and I have to kind of like take time to to get ourselves together. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. Uh, uh, I I don't know. I I mean, who do I think I could get on? Uh, let me look. I I could probably get edgy. If I ask. <laughs> Let me let me let me look through my. Who do you think you, I could make? I could ask V. No, oh, no. I'm, I'm scared of V. He he got a fucking. You're afraid of V. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna invite uh uh fucking Jim. Um... Invite Jim, please. Yeah. Okay. Wait. wait. Uh, hello, Mister. Mister America, the best. Demo. Kawaii Ugu. Mister America, son. あ、あ、あ、
いいでしょうね Is that cool? you know, I, I, I literally don't know if you're, if you're trying to sound like a fucked up anime trap or if it's just the way you speak in Japanese. Demo! Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. The way, the way that I actually Fuck speak off. in Japanese? Kore wa atashi no, um, ma. de de no. Ma de de ni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, kore wa. Kore. Kore is my normal Japanese voice. It's very. The way that I speak in, in English. But、uh, I learned Japanese speaking Kansai Ben,、uh, which is a、uh, Osaka dialect.、Uh, so, <laughs>、uh, like, I would say, like, Mokori Maiko instead of a. s o s h i b o r i d a m a I mean, that, that's, that's all nice and dandy. But、uh-huh. where's the science? Mo so de s o n e Yeah, exactly.、True. That's how it is, my nigga. Mm-hmm. That is true. Where is the science? Uh, what are you doing? Roses are red, violets are blue. Oh my god, she's in there. Oh my god, she's in there. That's good. Uh, yeah, invite Jim. Uh, Jim probably doesn't give a shit if he's a, a la- awake. A lake. I've already, I've already done it. The, the tweet reads as following Hello, Mr. Mitokuru. Kawaii Ugu. Get your white bitch ass neighbor. Ass bitch. <laughs> Get your white bitch ass neighbor ass bitch biba in here, l u m a See if you can get him. I, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't think Jim gives a shit. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the link in the chat so people can, can you know, support don't, don't me. Don't get everybody to join the chat. Oh, oh, the Twitter thing. Yeah. Yeah, not, not, not yet. I no, thought you were、yet. dropping the, the、uh, hangout、yet. link,、uh. and I was like, don't do that. That's, what he, that's what he did. <laughs> I, I love、oh, Jim.、Shit. He's awesome. Yeah, it's Bibba. It's actually. You know,、Bibba. yeah, Jim, I want okay, Jim to、um, have、um, a Bibba, serious. Um, he wants... Yeah? Yeah? Is Vernaculus on here? Nani? Nani? Yeah, Vern is in the chat. I, I fucking hate、it. Vern. Oh, you he's do? A fucking, he's a f- fake geek girl. Oh. Get, get out of here, gamer. <laughs> You're being very rude, lay meme. I have never been rude in my entire life. That's no, true. fuck off, you condescending cunt. I'm gonna stab you with fuck, my. Go ahead and try it. I'm gonna give you all my mighty two inches, you cunt. All two inches? I don't know if I can take that. Fuck you. Yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna. <laughs> eat, my, eat my short dick. <laughs> Hang on. I, I got that monocle back. <clears throat> I don't know how I deleted it. Oh, by the、it. way, I'm still a pro. I'm still a pro of Rhodesian. Hmm. So, yeah. What are you talking about? I'm Afrikaans, I mean, you're. I, I gave you your monocle back, by the way. You're, you're fucking welcome. It's your welcome. You can have it.、Oh、shit, Jim is in the chat. Bruh, bruh. Bruh. Jim, I'm gonna. D- d- is Jim in the chat? On... Yeah, I'm gonna debate you on fucking Jim, yogurt. Jim, let's get on. Hang on, I'll send you a link. Jim, why don't you follow me on Twitter? It hurts my feelings. No, I, no don't, don't. Fuck off, don't. <laughs> I don't want him in here. He sucks. I want bruh, him in、bruh. here. He doesn't even know about.、Uh, he doesn't even know about, like. I don't fucking know about alkaline diets or something. How do I Flat even share a link to this? Flat earth, something, something, Western civilization. I don't know how to do this. Okay. Bra, bra. Jim, I'll fucking. I'll send you. Jim, I don't know how to send you a link even. We heard that you're an academic too, so. We all. Okay, we, we all know that Jim、research. is the highest form of academe. We all know this about Jim. True. True. Absolutely. I actually don't know how to send、Jim. you the thing because I think that I'm him, not.、Okay. I'm not. He doesn't follow me. Hang on. How do I do this? I don't understand this.、Let's、I make... hope you immediately left and won't come back. Why would you want that? Good. I like Jim. Fuck off, Jim. I'm gonna. No, I'm... I, I debunk him. I want him to debunk you. I, just post the I want him to debunk your existence. <laughs> oh no. I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared. I, I already have such a fragile ego. Don't, don't do that. I know you do. You, you have the most fragile ego I've ever seen. Clearly.、Um, Oof. Oof. 
I'm. It's a clear fucking joke, by the way. You know that. Oh no, I, you 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 hurt my ego. No. Yeah, send it via. You, yeah, YouTube give it message? to him. Okay. Right, YouTube message. Hey Jib, what's the difference? Uh, How do I do this? I don't know. Just oh, stop being a fucking retard. Um, I think maybe I'll figure it out. How do I? Jim, I don't understand this shit. Oh, I'm too retarded. <clears throat> Wait, I'm gonna fucking how many Can social you scientists? It out? You... How many how social, social scientists social... does it take to message Mr. Medicare? <laughs> Ooh, oof. Oof. Uh, shit. Already doing it. Nibba? Okay, I think I got it. You're so fucking retarded. Fucking hate you so much. Alright, I send it to you. I send it to you. I send it to you on the YouTube. But, but, but the pussy game ridiculous. The pussy game is ridiculous right on. It actually is. I fixed... Do you like your icon better now? I put the... the, yeah. uh, the... It's, 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 it's alright, you know. It, 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 it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I really want uh, you and Lamy. I want Lamy and uh, and Jim to have a real conversation about traps because I think this is going to be very roll, interesting. Roll, roll your boat gently down, down the stream. Yeah. Merrily, merrily, <laughs> merrily, merrily, merrily. Show Bob and Jim. Oh no, I already stop. knew your meme before it happened. It's time to stop. It's never time to stop. It's never time to stop. What is even happening right now? Like, dude, do you understand what the title of the stream is? It's Social Science Autism Stream. <laughs> this is not going to be a real thing that anyone's going to fucking understand ever. Moise, this is exactly the type of content we have to do if we want to reach people. <laughs> this is and it. This is... No, this is, like, literally, what we're doing right now is the epitome of everything I've ever wanted to do with Dr. Lehman. This I'm, is I'm it. complete. I found peace, you know, Monday guy. I found peace. I can, I can, I can, I, oh, I'm ascending right now. I'm, I'm ascending. Do you think this is where we all should be um, aiming for as social scientists, as just peak autism? You may not like this, but this is what peak intellectualism <laughs> looks like. This is it. This is it. I didn't even know Vernaculus was here. Hey, what's up, dude? Oof. Great, great. I'm gonna steal that fucking meme now, and now I'm not gonna be able to, to stop using it, dude. <laughs> My invite link gave you an error message. Okay, oh, hang on. How many social scientists do you need to send someone a YouTube message? It's real. It's real. It is real. I fucking hate you. Stop. It's a copy link to- okay, hang on, Jim, I'll send it again. I don't know if that works. Ugh. I'm glad you're here, by the way, I'm surprised. Because this is all, an not... awful thing that's happening right now. Fucking hate Jim, I'm gonna debunk him. Debunk him hard. Mm. I, 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 him. I would like to see this, but preferably oh. on a porn website. I, I would I would smash Jim. I think he has a somewhat attractive voice. He's got a very attractive voice. I mean, I, I'm a little bit uh, biased, but you know. I mean, but but no gay shit, you know. Just just you know. The it's completely heterosexual. Yeah, absolutely. It's just two bros hanging out, you know. Just two. You just bros rub each other off a little bit, you know. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I mean, sometimes you got to get that shit out. Yeah. Better yeah. out than in. Absolutely, it's like it's like, you know, who who like, if you're. Um, um, something, something, girls have feelings, something, something, feelings are gay. Women don't have feelings. Um, Women are essentially robots. Oof. That's fucking, that's, that's... It's pretty iron-pilled, I know. That's fucking racist. My, is it black-pilled or iron-pilled? What is it? Okay, so I think the official ranking goes like this. Uh, red-pilled? Iron-pilled? Mm -hmm. Black-pilled? Mm -hmm. Hello, ladies. Hello, sir. La my, my lady, how's it going? I tip no, it's, it's going. It's Thank going you. well, my lady. Thank you, hey, Jim, my have lady. You, have you ever, have you ever fucked a girl with a bigger dick than yourself? I don't know. I mean, a feminine penis is an intimidating thing. You need to really <laughs> ease your way into it. <laughs> so, so I really wanted to facilitate this conversation. 
Because as we all know, no one is a greater... And now this is not where this was supposed to happen, but whatever. Layman is uh, the master of understanding, and I can, I can provide research, but I don't know if I should, on why traps are not gay. But Jim, I believe that you are of the opinion that traps are gay. Yes, I am. So could you Ooh. could you two maybe perhaps have this uh, this uh, just a conversation, a polite and and pleasant conversation, on this? Oh, would uh, you like my would you like my opening statement? I would love it. Uh, if, I would love it. If you have a penis and what you're uh, having sex with has a penis, that's gay. It's it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Oof. Oof. Uh oh. But here, bit... I I'm gonna try to remain neutral. I will be the um I'll be the moderator to make sure that there's there's no. <clears throat> I will do my best to be the moderator here. <laughs> okay. All right, well, you got my <laughs> opening. You got my opening statement. Let's hear the uh, counter argument to that. Okay. Okay. Okay, Jim. Okay. Um. Name one gay thing about traps. Their penis. <laughs> okay. You have a penis. That's correct, you, I do. Are you, are you a gay nigger? <laughs> if, I, if I'm using that penis to fuck somebody else with a penis, you betcha. Fuck. He's good. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> Lamium is blocked at the start. However, can he come back from this initial upset? Find out in the next episode of, of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't recognize the channel when I got in. Who, whose channel is this? This is mine. <laughs> oh, it, did you change your name, or is this a second channel, or what? Oh, oh <laughs> okay, let me tell you, Jim. They fuck it. Uh, YouTube, uh, I got a copyright strike by a Thai channel, by a Thai copyright or, co or uh, company, and YouTube said that they do not have to legally respond to the legal copyright strike that was submitted to me, because reasons they basically are breaking u.s copyright law right now by doing this but apparently in very rare instances they can just say fuck the copyright law because they have a pre-existing deal with the company in question oh so you got you got screwed over yeah i got i got hammered yeah but whatever i'm gonna have to call bangkok a couple times <laughs> is that the name of your trap friend I mean, it could be, but it's also the name of the city I'm going to have to call a couple times. See, now, look, look at your stream. You've got all this fancy shit up there. Like, I, I, I've tried to put together streams, and they're a fucking train wreck, but you got little graphics and uh, just all sorts of shit going on. What do you use, OBS, or what are you using? Yeah, OBS. I fucking I'm, don't I'm know how that heroin. works. Thanks, oh, hi, Mitch, by the way. Heroin. Well, heroin makes everything look great. My stream looks great if you got enough heroin. Oh, my, my dude. Wait, you actually stream? Uh, on fucking rare occasions, yeah. And it's always a fucking train wreck. Your stream on, uh, NeoGaf made my entire day. That day the stream that happened. That day that stream happened. That was amazing. Yeah, I, I like the fallout that happened with that. Because, I mean, half the people went and, uh, started new sites. And they're so, just, such massive hug boxes. They're already banning people to the new sites for not being tolerant enough. Oh, poor baby. Pretty... Wait, 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 wait. NeoGaf is dead? You didn't uh, no, so... Yeah, what happened was uh, Mal Malka got uh, accused again of some more sexual misconduct, and his mods left, and a bunch of the users left in protest and went and started something. I think Reset Era is the name of the new one. Mm -hmm. um, he's still doing it. Like, I mean, NeoGAF still exists, but a lot of people jump ship, went to a different site. But the problem is, at the new site, like, you have to be crazy, crazy extreme left wing if you want to survive there because they will. They will just shit kick you if not. Like some guy, some black dude was in a thread talking about uh, the N word, and he literally just said, "I don't think the N word's that big a deal." And they banned him and said, "Don't tell us that. You don't understand." Oh no! no. How dare you? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's pretty fucked, man. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's the internet for you. <clears throat> well, I mean, whatever. Get over it. Uh, adapt or or die. I guess you know. Uh, I just I, I generally hate forums to begin with. Like I've never really found them to be pleasant because it's it, oh, either you're gonna find one that's way too strict or the mods are just gonna be power hungry cunts and it just never is an it's never a good situation. Pretty much, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to do with that either. So what what are you guys talking about tonight? What are you what are you up to? Social science, as we are oft want to do. Oh, I mean. the pretend the pretend science. Oh, that's us. <laughs> that's us. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Uh-oh, now you've offended us. 
we're gonna we're gonna use our daddy's money to skew you something something <laughs> so what does social sciences are we talking are we is it psychology or sociology well it's more complicated than that actually there's another one in between those two there's that I'm whole, unaware of? There's a whole bunkle of them. <laughs> one, whole, one whole bunkle of social sciences. Is there any biological underpinning to the observations you're making, or is it just speculated on behavior? <laughs> I think Layman and I are going to die a little bit on that question, Jim. But uh, uh, how about, what, Layman, how the fuck did we answer this question? I don't, I don't know. I just want to punch him. I want to... And then I'm gonna cuddle with him, struggle cuddle. He's gonna. Str you said you were gonna struggle cuddle with me, and you didn't do that. I'm gonna struggle cuddle with fucking everyone. I'm. I'm a well, you know, I, I'm girl. feeling. I'm feeling pretty confident after that trap debate. Let's get into this. What, what fucking debate, there my man? There was no debate I, yet. I, I, there wasn't a debate. You're right. I won that right out. So let's get into the social <laughs> sciences. <laughs> you piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna fucking kill you. You destroyed two years of my entire life, you piece of shit. Mike, I'm fucking uh, tripping balls over here, and you put me on the fucking pedestal. Fuck. <laughs> but you know what? I'm actually, you know, I'm 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 a, I'm a good loser. I I I actually I'm drawing your fan art right now. Oh no, he's <gasps> drawing you fan art. That's watch out for that shit. That doesn't sound good. Is so it, is it is it true they call sociologists people watchers? Like you're like grandmothers on porches. I would and then you say, just make your observations. I, I would say this about that whole claim, is that that is how I started out, um, is as a, a people watcher, in that uh, when I was a kid, I loved watching people in malls uh, do really weird, crazy shit, because it's very interesting. And I think kind of all of us, maybe not all of us, but I think a lot of people have that sort of like, what the fuck are these weirdo fuckers doing? You know? Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe not everybody. But it's interesting you know, to ones, me. Like, ones sitting around in the mall watching people, you know. Well, I mean, like I'm eating my pretzel with my dad, or and I'm, I'm you know, doing other shit, and then it's like, oh, what are the, what are these crazy uh, motherfuckers doing? And uh, I just, I'm just interested in what the fuck they're doing. That's it. Cause That's it's kind of it. There you go. You can call that weird. Fine. I think it's interesting to me. It's just interesting to watch other people do whatever the fuck they do. Oh, hey, shit, my picture popped up. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm watching the stream. It's a little delayed, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it, it, it always is on YouTube, yeah. There there I am. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I removed uh, Layman's uh, blunt, sorry. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Oh, that, that's, uh, well, that's that's fine. I'm a smoker. He can he can have it. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't mind. Uh, Aiden, I sent you fan art that I would ask you to use for Jim. Oh, you, you sent me some fan art? Where did you... Uh, oh, you I, talking I, to me or her? No, I... I, I it. it's, you sent it's it to me? Yeah, via Twitter, so you can use it in the stream thingy. That's not a very good image. <laughs> it's, fucking, it's fucking amazing. Okay. I, well, I see I see your chat saying, Jim, are you a, a social scientist? Jim is a social um, no. scientist. No, I didn't. I didn't fail a lot of med school. No, I am not a social scientist. Oh no, it's Ooh. it's too close to home. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't memorize all these bones and blood vessels. I guess I'll become a sociologist. <laughs> it's a little bit too close to home. Just kidding. Uh, I actually chose this horrible <laughs> field on purpose. <laughs> So, do you feel pretty, like, I've always wondered, like, I, I know sociology, it it feels, at least to me, like, it, it's really heavily weighed down in the last, like, maybe 10 or 20 years with people that, um... Are retarded? Not not <laughs> retarded, necessarily, but they feel like they want to politicize it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of the work is directed towards... Well, you're talking to the right two what? group of people. <laughs> I, I, I actually am a sociologist, and, yes... My condolences... <laughs> yes. <laughs> fuck. Jim, 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 Jimbo. Shit's fucked. Shit's fucked. <laughs> is it? It's pretty fucked, is it? It's pretty fucked. It's, it's it's all kinds of fucked. Like, you've got this hardcore. Of, I would even say like the majority of, of researchers just want to chill and do research, and they really don't care about any feelings. Shit. They are really autistic about their special field. Like, how can we improve traffic? How can we improve fucking mall layout and shit like that? <laughs> and then and then you've got like the 10 percent who are just just a walking fucking trigger wall <laughs> and yeah. yeah and they fuck up everything for everyone 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, actually, I am really curious. I wanted to ask you this because um, I guess I never get a chance to ask this of social scientists, but uh, I, I've always had a suspicion that a lot of social media websites, you know, like the Twitters and the Facebooks and stuff, employ social scientists to try to, I, I don't know really know how to put this, to, to use features <laughs> to curtail behaviors from their user base. Do you, do you think that's something that goes on? Do you think they employ um, them for that kind of thing? I will tell you definitively, yes, they do. I, I will tell you definitively that they recruit from my field directly out of the PhD and master's degree programs. Uh, they do it without hesitation and without any kind of, I don't know what would be the right term. They don't give a shit at how honest and upfront they are about using our research to manipulate people. Now, for me and many other people who still reside within academe, we tend to view this as a bit of a, what's the right term, betrayal. But yeah. I, don't, I also don't blame them because they're going to make six. A fuck ton of money. Maybe seven yeah. figures. So I yeah. don't blame them at all. But uh, there is sort of a level of, you understand you come out of my field knowing everything about how people react to stimuli, particularly media stimuli. And you just go and work for Activision, or you go and work for Sony, and see, I, I, I've always, I, I've always wondered if that was part of the push to get rid of anonymity on the internet. Because if you had your online handle attached to your real identity, which gives ideas about, you know, income level, uh, geography, uh, skin tone, you know, just all the information that you could use to get a basic uh, idea or a baseline on an individual. Like, I've always wondered if they want to get rid of anonymity so they can take that information and then say, okay, here's how we can apply this sociological information we have to manipulate you more. Because if you're anonymous, I don't know if you're black, white, male, female, young, old, rich, poor, but if you're not anonymous and I have that information, I can fuck with you better. Why do you think I know hate face... 4chan so much, dude? Why do you think right, they hate right. 4chan? Because wasn't there some story like a year ago about Facebook uh, manipulating news feeds to try to get people to emotionally react in certain ways? It wasn't even a year ago. It was actually about three years ago where they, they conducted a, a basically a private... They did not tell the users they were conducting this, which is you should not because it, that alone, in terms of if you inform the participant that they are being studied, that can affect the research. What they did do, though, is that they intentionally manipulated the um, information and the types of posts that were seen by the participants in this randomly selected experiment. Uh, some mm -hmm. participants saw more positive things, people's birthdays, people's um, child being born, happy things. Other people saw like deaths and negative uh, political uh, things. And what they did is they assessed how the ultimate outcome on the um, emotional um, output of the participant was, and they found that people who were exposed to more positive uh, media posts posted more positive shit in response. People who were exposed to more negative media posts posted more negative shit in response. This is typical of what we would expect from social psychological research. However, some people who don't quite understand this shit were very upset in thinking that uh, Facebook was manipulating them. And it is true, Facebook did manipulate them. The problem is that Facebook did not inform them that they were participants in a study. Oh, I get you. That's, uh, that's kind of dickish, isn't it? It is. It's actually really fucked that you didn't inform them they were participants in the study. Uh, it, it, I think it actually borders on, um, on illegality to not inform people that they were involved in a study. At that point. When it involves emotional manipulation. Yeah. Um, I... I ask you some more questions here as long as I got you to. Uh, is is Spencer still a dirty word in sociology? Richard Spencer? <laughs> I'm talking about Spencerism. Uh, I remember when I took a couple of sociology, or sociology classes, um, we briefly covered it, and the professor seemed to get freaked out by wanting to go in depth about it. Uh, that was the guy that basically he beat Darwin to the survival of the fittest thing. He talked about a, a sociological model based on how people should behave in a society. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of like the steel barons and robber barons kind of during that era applied that philosophy to the workplace. I know he took a trip to like Philadelphia and visited like a steelworks and the uh, the owner of the business was really happy. He's like, oh my God, I applied your philosophy to this. You should see how amazing it is. I'm making so much money. But all the workers were treated like shit. They were living in poverty. They were sick. And he was like all freaked out uh, by how it was being applied. 
but it, is, is that sort of I, I don't maybe you don't know much about it, but I, I didn't know if that was like a no no topic still because it seemed to be it's, when. Yeah, that is so far removed from a no no topic of what I would consider on uh, the the main line of of social science research. No, I mean that's because that's ancient. That's that's one hundred and fifty years old. No no research in social science. Jesus fucking Christ. So uh, part of the thing is Layman has muted himself, and I'm not sure why. He might have other shit to do. But um, Layman he's has... still trying to think of a defense for the trap argument. <laughs> I don't blame him. Take all the time you need. Uh, we are significantly different uh, scientists. He is more on the sociology side. I am a hardcore um, quantitative empirical post-positivist. I mostly study media psychology and intergroup psychology. So to me, something like that would not even be within my realm of being concerned with. Uh, the things that concern me are much more recent, and I do mean since like the 1960s. That still is old school research. But mm. um, in terms of Darwin, no. We have to understand. It's a thing that becomes... I because I, I remember reading a quote from one of his students, uh, from one of Spencer's students, talking about uh, kind of his ideas, and it was some, it was some pretty hardcore shit. It sounded like some World War II Germany stuff, you know, talking about how the dregs of society drag everyone down, and they, if they were exterminated, everybody would be happier. Uh, that uh, you know, no strong society can exist as long as weak people are allowed in it. Uh, it's you know that that's kind of what I mean by uh, oh. they at least the person well. teaching it seems freaked out by it they're like we don't really go mm -hmm. into this area very much well i don't agree with that personally and uh you know sometimes when you come to social psychological research you do have to we can only really look at the data we have so if somebody wants to say some insane shit like fuck niggers or whatever i mean well you're okay to say that i guess but you need to provide me with the data that would support it as to why you would come to that outcome uh, well, that was, that was the thing too, though, about Spencer. I mean, it wasn't uh, it wasn't really along racial lines. Uh, this this was more applied to society as a whole. Like, if you saw somebody as being weak or dragging down society's resources, they should be expendable. Um, at least that's how it was, you know, relayed to me, I guess. So, like, drug addicts, uh, people that don't work, alcoholics, uh, stuff like that, where you're putting more effort in to try to raise them up to a minimal level of functionality. Uh, it, they considered the resources better spent on functioning people and just eliminating them. Of course, this is like during the time when eugenicists but, are running around and everything else is kind of going on. This is not insane research. I don't agree with it, but it's also just not... Um, I mean, let's be honest. Like, If you want to be a real piece of shit and just say, yeah, fuck everybody who doesn't um, contribute to the society equally. Fuck them. They should be um, removed. Well, I could get that argument. I don't agree. But uh, you, I could certainly understand the argument, right? How much does uh, trolling fuck with looking at like online behaviors? If you if, like as a sociologist, oh because oh my god, right? Because you can't pin it down then, right? If there's a troll in the mix, doesn't that fuck up all the data? So Jim, yep. Let me tell you. Um, actually, the reason I became a social psychologist or a social scientist was because I wanted to understand how 4chan worked. How'd, how'd that work out for you? It's oh working out pretty god. well. Working out pretty Fortune well. Is fucking amazing, isn't it? It really is. I, I really, I wanted to understand how 4chan worked as an anonymous environment. I didn't understand it. I, I mean, I understood it on a functional level, but I wanted to understand it on a scientific level. And I now do. I understand 4chan very well. So in terms of, geez, how do we even start with this? Yeah, where do we even start? Uh, in terms of, yeah. Have you worked with the autism gym? What's that? Have you woken the autism? He's woken. Have I awoken? Uh, yes, I've woken the autism, yes. The, basically, the entire idea is that um, we can talk about what is 4chan in terms of what is um, anonymity was the thing that, that fascinated me about social science. What is that I, I wanted to understand why it was that people could come into a place where uh, there is no sense of personal identity and express extensive levels of personal identity. Moreover, why or how this community was able of creating its own norms in that we understand when using a 4chan board, any 4chan board, it has its own normative behaviors. 
if you use a wrong word or an incorrect term, you're going to be ousted as a normie or a weirdo or a faggot. Right. And this is fascinating to me because I want to un- I wanted to understand what what was happening here. Essentially, what we find is from the Tajville and Turner research something called de individuation, in that uh, what is called anonymity, of course, in that in the place of normative social roles, because we always know what we're supposed to do in, in a normative social environment. The 4chan community, in the lapse or absence of social roles, must create its own social norms. And as such, the social norms created by the 4chaners will be unique and extrinsic to normative social situations. That is, that when I communicate on any individual 4chan board, I am going to be involved in a community that is uh, essentially unique and uh, isolated from any other social community I could ever be involved in. As such, I'm not only required to know all of the norms of that group, uh, in that uh, my dismissal or inability to express the norms will label me as an outcast or out group, but also that the 4chan group has an amazing ability at uh, being able to uh, evolve itself almost instantaneously to new group norms. Yeah, that is one hell of a definition of shit posting. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I I basically just wanted to study shit posting as a as a field of study, and hey, here um, I am. Just the evolution of memes is fucking insane. Like, um, if if you look like at preceding social research, I really don't think that anyone saw the the volatility and the speed with which memes are created and transformed coming. Like, uh, it, like, you're not feeling me, Aiden, on this one? Oh, no, I, I understand you. The thing is, um, memes are, are, are always... Go- okay, because when you are removed from the normal social identity um, uh, instance, right? You're put into a pseudonymous or total anonymous situation. Therefore, the normal social uh, normative beliefs and or uh, social normative behaviors are removed as such new behavioral norms must be uh, instantaneously created or um, systemically created therefore we would of course see very fast and very quick systemic normative uh, Um, views how are you using the term systemic we're talking about an organic system or we're talking talking about about... this this is this is an organically created systemic pseudonymous system uh, mm-hmm. That is created for this because in the pseudonymous system there is no norms. There are no norms. Excuse me. There are no norms because the anonymous environment uh, precludes uh, typical social normative systems. Thereby, we must create a new norm. Okay, you fucking nerds. I got. I got a question for you. <laughs> Which which influences uh, the other more? You're, you're talking about a person entering an anonymous environment and having to learn basically a new set of behaviors to survive. Mm-hmm. Um, so does the anonymity affect them more in real life or does the real life affect the group anonymity? Which has a bigger sway? If I join, if I'm some uh, new fag and I join 4chan and I start using a board, do I rub off on the board more or less than the board rubs off on me when I return to like a Facebook where my identity is tied to the what I The board rubs off on you absolutely 10,000%. Humans are a social species. We are always going to tend towards the norms of, of our social interaction. What happened with 4chan is that each board and each even individual, as you, I, I know, know, Jim, that even there's like these microcosms of individuals on 4chan, like... Um, your containment thread or something like that you know that you end up with these containment little microcosms the idea Mm. though is that your individual identity will always be subservient to the group identity when it comes to these pseudonymous or anonymous situations we know this through the de-individuation research of dr zimbardo 1969 1971 not only that but we actually can observe it live if any one of us were to do a trip code and go to fortune and trip fag around, well, the reactions usually are pretty negative because you're going against one of the established quote unquote yes, rules. This is a stat. Yes, exactly. Any any personal identifying information, it can be between the trip 
code or it can be name tagging or it could even be so much as posting a picture or something of yourself within a single identifying oh, no you, you're, you're misunderstanding what i mean um okay. okay let's say you've got an individual who spends their time split 50 50 between anonymous social interaction and uh named social interaction so a 4chan versus a facebook they have a social interaction with both groups now they've joined this anonymous group <clears throat> and let's say for the sake of argument this anonymous group has a neutral or non-opinion on baseball um, or maybe they even dislike it but that individual likes baseball now through their interactions is that person going to come away disliking baseball or having a different opinion or will the anonymous group end up liking baseball what you're, you're talking about like this communal group right well yes. th those mm -hmm. likes and dislikes and behaviors have to come from somewhere so how much impact does that individual have on the group is it more or less than the group having on the individual the, can, can the I, individual, or do you want to take this? Uh, lay meme. I'm the social psychologist. Do you want me to do it first? Oof. Oof. I'm not trying to be rude. I, I, I see how it'd be, Manika. No, <laughs> not, not to be rude. But the fact of the matter okay. is that the individual is always subservient to the group. So then does it create like a bigger and bigger loop? Yes. Individual goes to anonymous group and then they come out polluted, so to speak. And their interactions with their normal friends are now transferring that anonymous group's will, right? Uh, they act like a vector. They're transferring their beliefs into other people through a different method, through a named interaction. Um, it's not going to be, it's not a prescriptive in that this will not happen to all people. But it is very much true that the longer time that one um, associates oneself with a, a stringent in-group association, the more one will come to associate oneself and one's own identity with the in-group association. And as such, um, yes, uh, exclude or, or um, exude, excuse me, the in-group association into other forms. So yes. Not only that, but we actually have to look at the concept of uh, voluntary self-ascribed identity against ascribed identity because mm -hmm. most people are not aware of social norms they just follow them on a yes. sort of subconscious basis but if you are thrown into a new environment such as fortune or an anonymous situation uh, suddenly all the norms are very apparent to you because you are a new observer it's basically the same thing like a culture shock you if you were to to, to suddenly travel to say cambodia or something like that it would be exactly the same situation and i think i would agree with Pay aiden that definitely the, the anonymous image board will have a much more significant impact on you than your actual quote-unquote normal named social relationships. So it, it, is it 4chan itself or the anonymity? Let's say that in a year somebody created a super left-wing version of 4chan um, it, and, and it had an equal size equal sized user base. So, okay, that, that's sort of, I'd be kind of curious on that if there was a, a second 4chan that was like the polar opposite of the current one. And a person that interactions with both, what would flavor them more, I guess? Well, let me explain. Um, so when we come to what we understand of as 4chan, which is an, anon an anonymous or pseudonymous site, we have several different effects that we can look at from the perspective of, of social psychology, particularly which would be um, a toxic disinhibition and a pro-social or positive disinhibition. So toxic disinhibition would include things like um, the um, cockpit effect, which would be that we find that trolls, for example, feel very little uh, remorse or emotional recourse when they say very negative things about someone that they are attacking, essentially. This is, again, toxic disinhibition is a function of the pseudo-anonymity or the anonymity of uh, online interaction. In contrast, we find uh, very much a different effect, which is the um, pro-social effect of um, internet communication, which would be um, yeah, the, the pro-social sort of strangers on the train effect. The strangers on the train effect is that I find someone that I don't know very much about, and because I feel as if they will not be able to further release my information to people that I would know in my personal life. I thereby can tell them everything about me without fear of being revealed, essentially. Um, we can find both both these negative and positive social effects in uh, the process of anonymity and of uh, de-individuation, thereby 
there are both positive and negative effects to what we call 4chan. Why do I think people use 4chan? It's because you can, look, I'm just saying from my personal experience, sometimes I feel like I'm talking to a friend, even if it's only throughout one thread, and I've ne I'm never gonna talk to that person again. But I, I speak to them for a second, and, or, and I can recognize them enough, even through their anonymous postings, and see like, okay, I know this person. This totally illustrates and elucidates the positive possible effects of the strangers on the train effect. Are you are you using positive in a normative sense? Positive in terms of how we have to valence emotional. Um, okay, so uh, positive and negative emotional valence can be misunderstood by people, in that typically what we say when we talk about emo negatively emotional valence means. Um, I feel bad, right? Whereas positive right. emotional balance means I feel good. Uh, well, it's more complex than that. When I say positive, I mean it doesn't necessarily make you feel good in that it makes me feel happy. But being able to express my emotions to a stranger actually reduces psychological stress. Therefore, <laughs> it is a positive effect. So there is a certain, like, I'm only interested in uh, if, if you're measuring positive and negative from uh, the, the subject's perception, or if you are using it in a strictly normative sense that you have ascribed uh, stress reduction equals good, stress increase we equals We have seen bad, both. Always. We have seen both, actually. Right, okay. So we've seen that there has been reduction in stress based on the ability to express emotions through an, an, an anonymous or pseudonymous sense, um, but we've also seen that it might just be that, uh, being able to, I don't know, it's, it's confusing, but I do think that it's all right, nice, yeah. but wh where's the science? Haha, <laughs> ha, find the data. Hang on. Uh, while you're looking for that data, I got another question for you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what has a bigger impact on, uh, on an individual? Uh, let's say somebody's reacting negatively to you, uh, trying intentionally to make you mad. In an anonymous environment or in a named environment? Anonymous probably is going to... It depends. It depends. It depends. Where you, I should say anonymous where you're anonymous and the person insulting you is anonymous. I, I'm just curious, is it is it more because the, uh, you know, uh, the negativity is attached to your, to your identity, to your ego, that it would have a bigger bruise in the Facebook environment as opposed to the 4chan environment? Or would the inverse be true? My I'd guess. I would argue that with a, with a weaker actual quote-unquote hurt ego uh, in the anonymous situation, the likelihood and the severity of a reaction may be bigger because you are essentially anonymous or pseudo-anonymous, while uh, on, for example, Facebook, the opposite should be the case. You would be in a named environment, the slight may be bigger, you may feel more insulted, but a reaction is, I think, less likely and will probably be less severe because you are still named. I think you're probably right, Lehman. Um, I, I don't know, and I don't actually have those data off the top of my head, but I would imagine that... So I can make somebody yeah. cry more calling him a faggot on Facebook than on 4chan? Internally, yes. Or No, no, I, I, mean, I mean, yeah, okay. No, 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 you're like, right. Internally, they're going to piss themselves, you know, but externally yeah. they're going to be like, ha ha, I'm, I'm, I'm a tough guy, ha ha. Okay. Well, of course. I, I just want to use I want to use your information for practical applications. I think that's what your chat wants. I think we both do, understand I... what you're trying to use our social science data for. That's right. That's right. Welcome to the dark side. Dark side? Do you have niggas? I mean, uh, <laughs> fuck. No, no, they're 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 kept in the yard next to Jade's pen. <laughs> Oof. Oof. That's that's kind of racist, my nigga. <laughs> no, well, no. I mean. You know, she's out there too, so it's it's an equal treatment. <laughs> oh, there is no sexism or racism here. All slaves are treated equally. Oh, Jesus. Hey, you know, all I'm <sighs> saying is that if we had another Holocaust, you know, there wouldn't be any racism left. <laughs> is, that, is that right? <laughs> it's good to know. It, it's fucking sociologically proven, but. <laughs> Sociological, my dude. Fuck off! Oh, fuck off! My accent is mine, you piece of shit. I, d I think I did an excellent. Um, accent. Uh, no, your accent is shit. I hope you die. No, I see. Hello, you magnificent bastards. It's me. S stop uh, bullying me. I'm gonna punch you. It's me. No. Dr. Lehman. <laughs> it's Dr. Lehman. Dr. Lehman. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Piece I love you shit. too. <laughs> uh, are there um, are are there any sociological generational studies on which generations uh, the biggest pussy? Like, have you ever looked at like writing in reaction to um, being being teased in the nineteen hundreds? A court uh, post now. I mean, I don't know. Like, Lamine, you're more uh, able to access the Germans. How uh, sad were they? Um, pretty sad. <laughs> but Jim actually has touched upon a really interesting point. Um, I think, I think I could cook something up. You would have what to look to somewhere do? between between uh, between Bourdieu and and fucking our new milieu study, but you basically can pretty much pinpoint how emotionally externalizing a generation is, or rather how they appear to be. So you can say, okay, this is a generation that really likes to complain, for example. But sadly, the data are starting in the late 50s earliest. Everything before that is kind of guesswork. Oh, okay. See, I I, I, want, I just wanted to see what the biggest pussy was. You know what I mean? Like, who the biggest <laughs> private are. If you can just find the biggest pussy. Yeah, the faggiest generation is one of your people in chat. I would so. say the faggiest generation is probably the boomers, but I mean, well, I don't know how to, to find that statistically. You don't have to okay. do that. You just have to use common sense. Common sense. Oh, this is my favorite. It's my favorite meme. <laughs> my, it is my favorite meme. Uh, do we have anything else to talk about? Hey, Jim, uh, ex ex mm -hmm. explain tertiarization to me. Explain what? Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. <laughs> you still sore about that uh, traps are gay conversation, huh? <laughs> he seems a little I'm not, I'm not even right. I made you amazing fan art. You know, I... I, 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 I can't, I can't, people. I can't see it. I can't, she didn't put it up. Oh, what did I do? What did I do wrong? Did you send it? Okay, you are a woman. That's what you did wrong. Oh, okay, hang on. All right, I do have this. Hang on. Uh... Okay. Wait, wait to fuck oh, it up. Whoops. Wait to fuck it up. Yeah. Oh, dang it! Now I fucked everything up because oh. You're too geez. busy huffing your own farts. Should have put the picture up. I can't. <laughs> I I don't know how to not huff my own farts. Unfortunately. Same. It's difficult. I mean, sometimes you're like trying to not do it, and then <laughs> you know. It ends up being an issue. Um, there we go. That is fucking beautiful. But you've over you've <laughs> overlaid it on the chat. What the fuck are you doing? Well, because I everything has become <laughs> and now fun. everything is popping up. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm, nice. I gotta put this over here. This is what I'm you're saying. Taking, like you're taking is, all kinds of pills right now. <laughs> I'm taking too many pills. Um, hang on. Oh shoot. Which is it? I do have it up. Did you uh, just kill the spring? No, I didn't. This not. is this is amazing. You're what? Chat, you're watching in real time as a woman uses technology. Be amazed. It's very it's difficult amazing, for women it? to use technology. It's it's really a I, now it's off center. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> fuck off! I'm trying my hardest. Social science. Yeah, he got that right. I'm Did you misspell stuff. science? <laughs> yeah, I said no, it on purpose. That was that was actually an intentional. I, yeah, on purpose, wait, wait. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> it was on purpose. Hey guys, let me analyze your data, even though I can't spell data correctly. <laughs> Here's the image. <laughs> You're welcome. I did spell it wrong on purpose. Stop being mean. Yeah, I, I totally meant to do I, that. I actually I always wondered, okay, I actually always wondered. How much of a cunt are you actually? Like, oh, I'm an amazingly you... large cunt. So you are genuinely evil, like like legit evil. I, I don't know if you'd classify it as evil. I, I just like to be entertained. And usually that entertainment uh, comes in a few different forms <laughs> that uh, not everybody finds agreeable. Well, uh, I, like a, I, like a, I like a good laugh, what can I say? But it doesn't sound no, too like, comfy to me. I like, I like Jim's, uh, his, his outlook on liking a good laugh. I mean, it means you're going to be rude to people, but like, whatever. Oh, incredibly rude. You know, in fact, I actually, you know what, I'll find this if I can find this if you give me a second here. I don't know how long you're going to have the stream going on, but it might oh, take me a moment. Go ahead and be rude. Uh, give me your... Uh, no, not not rude, but I had people look, uh, I, I tried to find a word to describe, because uh, you're asking what, I guess, my personal philosophy would be. Um, and there was no word for it, so I asked a bunch of nerds on Facebook to come up with a fucking word for it and see if I can mm -hmm. find it here. <laughs> I, by the way, by the, way the picture that Layman created is up now. 
So. Oh no, I saw it. it, it it's great. It. Even <laughs> though most of my attention was on your spelling, but you know the picture's great. But the, the spelling was intentional. I totally oh, meant to do it. You can <laughs> totally. buy the picture for like sixty bucks. Sixty? Oh, that's that's a fucking bargain, isn't it? <laughs> I know. I do. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Such, reason, such reasonable prices. I'm gonna have to put. Um, I'm gonna have to put some Amazon affiliate links in my fucking videos, like Monday Matt does, to afford that. Though, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, and don't forget, turn off the pesky ad block. Hey guys, today we're gonna be talking about uh, toddlers getting raped. But before we get into the video, be sure to check out Amazon's deals on Hulu. Oops. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, that's, oh, I fucking love that. Hey guys, today is a sad day. Um, another terror attack. Um, before we talk about that, audible.com. Audible is amazing. <laughs> By the way, please, please, Gib, Gib, uh, I would really appreciate if you. Oh, gave. this was this this was way back there. I, I, I'm looking for it. I'm just I just went past a story about 15 teens catching rabies from raping a donkey. Oh, I saw this. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? No, no, no they all they all fucked a rabies. I didn't know you could. I didn't know it was an STD. I didn't know you could get uh, donkey uh, yeah, rabies. Yeah, stop from fucking donkeys. How about that? Then you wouldn't have to deal wait, with wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's donkeys. <laughs> it's, it's a fucking real situation. Um. Okay, guys. Okay, I'm kind of I'm kind of shaking right now. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Okay. We're worried like, about you're just you're just fucking with me, right? No, no, it's, it's, uh, oh, okay, okay, here we go. Um, I, I think I found it. I, I got some calls to make. Uh, okay, this, this is how I described it. This is the word they gave to me, right? I said, maybe somebody can help me out here. I'm looking for a word to describe a specific condition, finding joy in chaos, regardless of the system or target. Uh, this isn't Schoidenfraud or, uh, Epicariacy, which is basically just Schoidenfraud in English as the joy or pleasure isn't necessarily derived from the suffering of another, but merely a state of uh, chaotic turmoil and can be uh, related to more than just an individual or group or individuals. Uh, so I couldn't find a word, and somebody came up with one. Uh, ataxophilia. Uh, oh, basically meaning uh, literally a love of chaos or a love of non-order. Uh, that would be the best way to describe it. So if you're asking if I'm a cunt, I just like to watch. I like to watch the fireworks, man. I like the train wreck. I like watching shit get burned down. It doesn't really matter to me what that is. It's just so, entertaining. So you're just saying you're basically just an edgy fucking cunt. He's just trying to watch the world burn. Essentially. I, I just well, I'd say an edgy cunt would be more Joker somebody trying to, to try to try to try to to try to push it into that direction. I just happen to like to watch it naturally occur. I don't know. I think both are fine. Yeah, I think you're both. Fucking racist, you nigger faggots. I think you're racist, you nigger Jesus. Hurtful. N n name a single racist thing that I've ever done. Go Literally, ahead. Literally, you just said the word nigger, so you're very oh, racist. I know you said it too, you fucking piece of fuck, shit nigger. Holy shit, fuck you! <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to get your channel shut down. I'm not gonna lie. I already got my main channel shut down, so what the fuck are you yeah, trying to do to now, to nigger to Jesus? Just, I, just I, terrible. Hurf shameful. Just shameful. Chicanerous. <laughs> Jim, did I you really... guys see the uh, did you see the lawsuit that's going on between Maddox and Dick Masterson oh I sure have and it's been uh, cause you know I've been a um, I've been a Jim faggot or not Jim excuse me Jim I have been a dick faggot since I have to get my names right for a very long time so, so you're a big fan of dick are you I'm a great big fan of dick Oof. I love, love that dick. I do love that dick. I think he's a. I I, I really love the dick, and I, I really want people to stop um, being rude to him. I mean, the dick needs to be understood. You need to understand the dick. You do to get to know it. Yeah. You gotta need to it know it. A it it takes a gentle to touch to understand the dick. It does take a gentle touch, and uh, I've been doing. I I've been a fan of the dick for years, and uh, yeah, uh, Maddox is out of his mind. The lawsuit was the funniest shit I've ever read. Um, so funny. He he, he bitches and complains that they called him mad cucks. I know. Uh, I'm so sad. Poor baby. They called you a cuck. Oh no. But that's there's there's five paragraphs dedicated to that. I know he was really are. fucked up. Over it. You're talking about Maddox, the, the the like the old school YouTuber yes. content. Yeah, 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 yeah. The old edgy uh, blogger is turned into a bitch, and he's suing people for hurting his feelings. That's that's all the uh, lawsuit is. 
is they hurt my feelings. Like, and he said, don't get wrong, don't don't misrepresent it. He is also upset that Dick makes more money on Patreon than he does. Well, that's why he's suing for twenty million dollars. <laughs> twenty million. <laughs> 20 million. Yeah, he's, he's, he's suing million. for 20 million, and he wants his Patreon shut down. That was part of what he put in his lawsuit. Why does but, he, what, is, what is it? How? Why? Why? why well, why uh, think... Dick makes 22,000, like between 18 and 22,000 a month on Patreon, yeah. and I think Maddox makes like $800. Not even. Maddox at this point makes like $200 a month on Patreon. I, I know. It's it's pretty sad, but it's he's not just suing him. He's suing like thing. five other people, but he's trying to get them. Uh, Monday and Matt did bring this up and other people did too. Uh, it seems like he's trying to use the lawsuit not to, you know, obviously win uh, through litigation, but to try to get people fired that are associated with uh, the Dick Masterson show and to try to get him once. pulled off Patreon. What's that? He already tried this once about uh, eight months ago where he tried to get uh, Dick removed from the L.A. comedy scene by um, saying that he was involved and had oh, the rape a list. rape list. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. So this is the second attempt that he's done to say, uh, fuck you, uh, Maddox, or excuse me, fuck you, uh, Dick. Uh, you're not allowed to have a career after me because I'm a piece of garbage. Well, yeah, it does feel like there's a lot of jealousy to it. I mean, it it because... Yeah. Masterson honestly is making a shit ton of money and he has a fucking large audience compared to, to Maddox who isn't pulling in the same amount of money uh, even though he does a lot of like you know uh, revenue gathering through like advertisers but it just seems like bitterness it seems like he's pissed off that Masterson was able to land on his feet well I mean like I, I, Jim I don't know how much you pay attention to this because I was a I was a major major fan and follower of both the uh, the, the original uh, Biggest Problems podcast and the uh, sort of outset or outcome of it, if you want to call it that, in that, uh, yeah, basically Maddox just got irate at Jim, or not at Jim, excuse me, I keep fucking, I'm retarded, at, uh, at Dick for making more money than he did. And he got really pissed at it and did not like the fact that Dick was able to maintain a um, a healthy sort of YouTube channel and a podcast because it wasn't under his tutelage. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it does. It, it kind of reminds me a little bit, I'd say, of like um, when Op uh, Opie and Anthony broke up. Like, I was a huge yeah. fan of the original show. I used to, like, Jocktober's the funniest fucking shit to me. Uh, and, and, you know, they went their separate ways over really a bullshit reason. Uh, but I, I, I still followed Kumia after that, and I know that they, you know, like, the walking on Greg Shell shit, and um, just the kind of back and forth between them. But I don't think, I mean, Opie never went as far as trying to sue him for $20 million. Oh, this uh, is an so. insane amount of money, because it also means that, like, so you understand this is not even the first legal thing that's happened between the two of them, right? No, people were trying to fill me in on the backstory um, oh, well, and, and giving me, like, the, their interactions and stuff, but I think what I find funniest about it... Um, is just how can you go from being a self-proclaimed internet edge lord, right? Yeah. With Maddox's earliest writings and the shit that he used to do, right? His comedy people really liked, and turn into this. Well, I mean, I, what is he doing? I he's mean, gone I don't know. full. Uh, to Destiny, dude. Like it's the same thing. <laughs> he's gone full soy boy. I don't understand it. Uh, it's the same thing, and the 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 um the thing with Maddox is that yeah, he um he has no ability to understand how he's not funny anymore, and how uh. Now, look, by the way, you hired a guy whose book was called Men Are Better Than Women to be your co-host for almost three years. And now, all of a sudden, you're going to get upset and act like, oh, no, I'm so offended because I'm a feminist that there was a naughty bad man who was on my podcast for three years. You serious? Yeah, you know, I've noticed this behavior not just in Maddox, but in other people, too. It, it seems like people, like, he didn't mind using Dick to become more popular. Exactly. But uh, when, once he wasn't getting money from it, then all of a sudden it became a problem. I've noticed that, uh, and, and this applies to a lot of YouTubers, too, uh, they'll court a certain audience or a certain mentality. But once they reach a point where they don't find it to be as profitable anymore, they love to disassociate, to try to hop on a new gravy train. And I just find that, uh, I don't know, personally disgusting, I guess. Yeah, I do as well. I, I, yeah. Because Th that's what the fuck just, are you that's... doing? Um, you can't just act like, oh no, oh, oh, I'm all of a sudden I'm so offended by all of these 
unpolitically correct things that my co-host has said over the last ten years. What the fuck are you talking about? Of course he said this shit. And all of a sudden it's upsetting to him because... I, I don't know. Uh, Layman, what do you think? You still there? Yeah, Layman. I think that I'm um, mixing... Mixing booze with fucking oxy is never a good idea. Lame, That's stop good. doing this shit! <laughs> God damn it! Bra, 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 bra. Stop. I suppose I suppose that's gonna amplify the effects of both. Yeah. Lame, yeah, actually, stop, you, you know, stop getting you may too not high this. on my streams. You, you may not know this, but I'm actually PewDiePie. Mm. Yeah. So you know, if you suck my dick, I can give you a sweet spot on my channel, Jim. Oh, but well, you know, I, I need to jump on that fucking train right now. I uh, what what the fuck does he say? What's a little brofish yet? What his little catchphrase? What's PewDiePie's catchphrase? Brofish. Uh, no, he does that fucking gay shit at the beginning of his videos where he'd screech like a retard and then um, fist bump the fuck. What's up, bros? My name is PewDiePie. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'll need to start doing that in my videos. My oh, name you, you is Mr. Vinegar, and do that. <laughs> oh, it'd be awful. Oh, that'd be terrible. I would probably unsub. Hello, to be everyone, and welcome to another episode of Content Aristocrat. My name is. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, this is not. So, what do you what, do you what what do you two usually talk about in your late night streams together? We what what else do you usually go over? Honestly, Lamium and I have never really streamed together like this. Yep. <laughs> Where you both, uh, well, I, I, he's, he said he's imbibing. I don't know. Are you at the moment? No shit. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah, that's okay. So it's your first drunk stream together, huh? Well, Lamium and I are clearly, um, uh, internet married, so. Mm. Pretty much. <laughs> that's a new form of relationships, <laughs> right? On, in the digital age? It's, it's it's a weird relationship and I don't like it. I don't like it either. Uncle, Neither of us like it. It's very uncomfortable for both of us. <laughs> yes. It's like we're both in a relationship, but but people just kind of like seeing us together, I guess. It's right, weird. that's what I'm saying. It's an internet marriage where, like, uh, we have not never described it nor interacted, but everyone on the internet wants us to be uh, married. Oh, I see the guard. I see the guardians in chat giving me shit. Uh, just another skeptic clone. <laughs> well, uh, sh Chatelet, my brothers, let's talk about. Uh, what did they even talk about anymore? I, I guess I don't know. I, I don't really watch the videos, so Layman I don't know what I the fuck. Layman and I have been over a lot of shit in the stream. Oh my! Like the first hour or so of this stream was basically just like. Think about it, Lamey. Mm. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> I thought he crashed into the floor. Too much oxygen and <laughs> liquor. Yeah. <laughs> We're waiting. I, the problem is that um, the the common enemy of this overarching big big scary leftist establishment is kind of dissipating. Um, it's not as profitable. It's not as edgy. It's not as entertaining to talk about it anymore. So people are looking elsewhere to find some kind of boogeyman to blame everything for. And um, what what Aiden and I are realizing is that both kind of deceived by people reaching the same conclusions as, as, uh, as we did. Um, so we thought, hey, people are kind of smart. But the truth is that the vast majority of the skeptosphere is sadly kind of comes to any sort of actual research and is getting a moment. Like, two years back, there was this huge pushback against anything social science-y. But it kind of died out. Yeah, I've just... It, di it died out shit. because um, people started to understand the value of social science. And now it is coming back in that fuck social science... In a very similar way of fuck social science, it doesn't exist. Um, all the things that you guys are doing are re is retarded and uh, fuck you. So, I don't know, like, you know, what uh, Lamium and I are supposed to do beyond just trying to maintain uh, normalcy. Uh, okay, I, I, I kind of get that. I mean, it, it feels like you've come to the teal deer conclusion. <laughs> yeah, essentially. That, uh, that the cow that's being milked is starting to run dry, so they're looking for new, for new uh, pastures, I guess. Oh, very um, much, and the teal deer conclusion is a good way to, to state it, yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, 
YouTube and uh, just content in general, like I've said before, is cyclical. I, I you know, I, I kind of, maybe not even cyclical, but it comes in waves. Like you can see the popular content and when it dies down, it's usually like a three or four year period. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had uh, atheist shitting on Deus, which was funny. Everybody kind of enjoyed that. Uh, you had like the rise of angry video game reviews, and then it moved into let's plays. So I mean, it, like there there are distinct marked periods on the kind of content that's popular or profitable. Uh, it feels like the anti SJW stuff, right, which I guess is kind of the sphere of the skeptics. Uh, everybody at this point is sort of aware of it, um, and it's not it's not as popular as it used to be. Um, and it seems like everybody's fucking doing it. I I kind of miss the old internet, I guess, in a way where you could just shit on retards and have a laugh. Like that's yeah, kind of right? the days I long for. Um, so that's kind of what I went back to focusing on, um, which is just laughing at DeviantArt shit or crazy people or just just bizarre stuff on the internet that you encounter, wh which I enjoy. But I, I, I don't know. I, I can only watch so many, boy, this blue-haired chick is fucking crazy videos before I just want to shoot myself. Well, that's how I feel, and I think you're you're right, Jim, in that, like, your, your way of looking at it is probably the most, or the least, um, hurtful, uh, psychologically, and personally psychologically, because then you don't have to, because, by the way, every single fucking channel on YouTube will find every single blue-haired bedroom feminist and make fun of her over it. It's just not very entertaining, at least not to me. Uh, I don't Well, I, I tried to bring this uh, I, I tried to bring this up on the Coach Red Pill because I was on his stream uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah, um, I was there. And, and like, you know, I kind of tuned out. It was a lot of like <laughs> SGW feminist Islam shit. And like I I I I'm not I don't disagree with a lot of the opinions they spotted, but like I just like, I can only take so much before I can't take it anymore. But, um, like, looking at what I'm kind of seeing emerging right now and what I what I think people that are... I know it's weird to assign a political belief to a group. And I know the skeptics like to say they're centrist and rationalist. Mm -hmm. But their content is consumed a lot by people on the right. Yeah. Um, and they try to sell their merchandise to people on the right. So you got all these fucking kids walking around in Kekistani shirts and shit. Oh. Uh, what I've noticed from people on the left, uh, and this is starting to become a trend, which I think might be the next wave, and this is why it's almost cautionary that I've been saying it a lot, uh, is they, they've moved beyond the let's bitch about being a victim to make the other side look bad, and they've kind of gone back to the roots of let's just call the other side a bunch of fucking dorky faggots, because uh, that, that works too. And so, you know, like, what, what is your target now if you're like this leftist that wants to shit on the right or centrist? Well, you got a bunch of people walking around in fucking Kekistani stuff. It's like the new fucking fedora. Like, they painted this giant target on themselves. And even saying that to somebody like, I'm a rationalist, <laughs> or I'm a skeptic, you sound like you're fucking huffing farts, man. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. I, I don't know. Piss me off. Go ahead, there's Lenny. Like, legitimate room. I think there's, like, legitimate, legitimate room for some kind of quote-unquote intellectual YouTube or something like that. Just just people that want to do like actual like proper talk about you know proper philosophy. Room for that, you know, there's always room for, for this kind of niche. But what the skeptosphere and most of the accounts that I'm talking about are not even active then the skeptosphere has consistently done is take the uh, not the entirety but a big chunk of actual like "Quote unquote deep talk on YouTube, and just shit all over it, like oh, one of your people in that chat saying it didn't work for um, <clears throat> uh, Trout and Tea. Nice, I see what you did there. Oh, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking, I'm not talking about him. I'm not talking about like the skeptics trying no, to make fun of the old right. Yeah, we're being very clear. About yeah, I'm talking about talking a about here. I, I'm talking about like a completely separate group of people that I've seen start to do this, and it works really effectively, and people are laughing about it. Yeah. And I think once yeah. that trend is seen it's going to become another wave where people are going to all start to do it. Um, so I guess my advice to you out there is don't, don't, don't put up a bunch of cringy shit because you're going to be made fun of ruthlessly Very by true. people that aren't going to, aren't going to say, check your privilege. They're just going to call you a fag. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know how else to help people like that. I mean, they're going to I, I get insulted no matter what we do to try and help them. So I don't know what the fuck to do, dude. 
Uh, yeah, and, and the other thing too, somebody because uh, they were talking about crowd. Um, I, I, I mm. bought his latest video or whatever. I didn't. I didn't oh. really watch it, but I did watch. Uh, who's the French guy? I always forget his fucking name. Jean Francois Garipe. Yeah. Oh my God, he is just fucking brutal when he goes through those videos. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, he's the biologist, and the thing is, like, I don't ever. When I was upset when I saw Kraut's video, as I have always been upset in every single video Kraut has put out in this weirdly aggressive series, has been like, well, you're talking shit about social science that I don't think you understand. And it's always been my irritation. And at this point, now he is not only... Now he's been doing it the entire time, but once again, he talks shit about social science in a way that is egregious and also talk shit about biology in a way that is more than egregious, but that is outright uh, falsifiable. Um, hey, you know, just, just a quick note. I yeah. haven't seen the video yet. I'm, I'm, well, uh, I don't have let, a horse in this race. Let's, so. Okay, so, go ahead, so, so yeah. Layman is, is totally outside of this analysis. Therefore, nothing I say right here can ever be applied to Layman. He doesn't know anything about it. My only point is that I, w I felt a little bit insulted because the entire video, the first three minutes, and, and several other minutes in that video say, fuck social science, um, all social science research is stupid, if there's any data re involving intelligence coming from social science, it's retarded and should be ignored. That is the kind of shit that I just cannot tolerate because it is, um, honestly retarded. I'm sorry. Yeah, but then again, I mean, this statement is coming from a sociologist who can't spell science, so I'm just saying that. I'll throw that yeah, out but there. I did that on purpose to make a little me me. I just fuck up with it. I know. But, um, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 to respond to the chat, though, I haven't, I haven't really... I, like, the shit I watch on YouTube mm. it has nothing to do with any of this stuff. I watch comic book reviews... Video game stuff, uh, like your movie sucks, movie reviews. I love your movie sucks. Yeah. J just shit like that, man. I just want to fucking relax. I don't want to no, have a that's the whole thing. video. I, that's a, this is what, you know what, Jim? That's the vast majority of what I watch on YouTube as well. I don't watch people within my own field, I guess if you want to call it as such. Oof. Oof. Except for you, Layman. I do watch your videos. Because no, your videos are... We, we're not friends anymore. No, fuck you. Your videos are entertaining, that's why I watch you. But outside of that, I really... My videos, my videos are shit, you lying fucking cunt. Oh, I can't even... Oh, wow, <laughs> thank, thanks. I can't even give you a fucking compliment. No, you can't because you're a woman and all women are snakes. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Checkmate. I can't deny that. Checkmate. I can't deny yeah. that. Uh... Maybe if you <laughs> God damn it, now no, I've lost my snake of thought. You really struck a chord with me. I gotta, now I've I gotta lost say. my snake of thought. <laughs> <laughs> I, I genuinely miss the old internet, you know. Me I too. think back even like like six, seven years ago, right? YouTube was a better place. Yeah, just it was. Everyone calling each other just a retarded piece of shit. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it was amazing. It, it was. It was, a lot, it, it was a lot more fun, I'll be honest. Um... A lot of the internet was more fun. I, mean, I don't know. Everybody's so up their own ass now, and so fucking. I can't really explain it. I don't want to go on like a tirade, but it's just more boring now. Would be a good way to put it. Yeah, it's it's just a little bit upsetting that you like can't even be, like I mean I guess for me if I I'm very willing to not willing that's not the right word. I don't give a shit. Like, okay, Jim, if you want to call you, me a hole, willing? well, are I mean, you, I could be weird. Are you in willing. heat again? Uh, fuck you. <laughs> but the whole thing is that, like, being called a hole or shit like that doesn't bother me because I've been on the internet my entire life. That shit doesn't fucking bother me. It, it's funny. I think it's, I think it's funny. But uh, some people, I think nowadays, would get really upset by something like that, and I don't know how to mitigate or ameliorate that weirdness. Yeah, it, it is weird. It's almost like they want, um, you, you know what I think of it as, uh, the people that get really offended, uh, is because they feel they can't use the same insult back. Like, you can take all because you can just call somebody a faggot in response, but the person that can't take it won't call somebody a faggot. It's almost like they want a Geneva Convention or Rules of War on the internet, which is really fucking weird because they, they self-restrict themselves, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they, don't, they, don't, they don't allow themselves to just fire back. They don't understand banter. 
I d yeah, they don't understand Bants, which is so weird. Yeah, it's 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 fucking bizarre. Just understand how bants work, my dudes. Stop, my dude. My is dude. A trademark. It's not. You it's... can't trademark it. I'm gonna trade. I'm gonna actually steal it from you now. If you touch my dude, I'm gonna find out where you live and I'm gonna shit in your cornflakes. Go ahead and come and try and shit my cornflakes. You should just use a duder. Your uh, cause... My duder. There how about go. that? That's... Yeah, Duder's not not. Uh, that's a giant bomb thing. That's uh. Oh, they, gross! Like, that sounds yeah, disgusting. Oh, I'm not gonna. No, no. If it's a giant bomb thing, I'm definitely not gonna do that. Oh uh, no, Duder, you have to, because no. the Lord of Ops, uh, oh, that praise be his awful. name, loved loved to use it all the time. No, I'd really rather not then. That sounds well, terrible. That's, that's shameful. How can you how can you deny that? It sounds like some gay ass nigger shit. I'm not interested in. <laughs> well, you got the you got the gay ass part right. <laughs> I don't think you're fucking nigger. Fuck you, layman. How about this? Layman, how about you come to the fucking United States instead of sh shitting in your fucking gay European country and fight me? Ooh. Um, you, okay. <laughs> where, where, where you at? Oh, wait a minute. Layman, you're in Europe. Is it even legal for you to say the things you've been saying? Won't you get a visit <laughs> for saying oh, boys, these I'm things? Gonna... Boys, I'm, I, you He's know, in Germany I have of all countries. Bag behind me. Consists oh, you... basically of about two and a half kilograms of lube. You need to you need to close the blinds. Merkel's secret police might be Merkel's stalking coming the after you. Yeah. Mama Merkel, please, Mama. please, mommy, don't, 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 mommy. I love the uh, <laughs> the article that came out like a year ago where it talked about German uh, arrests in Germany, and they're like, um, how did they phrase it? Uh, <laughs> they called it illegal opinions. People were arrested for illegal yep. opinions. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But the, the thing is, uh, the article was framed like in a really shitty way. But like, here's what actually happened. Um, there is a rising new, really, really weird right wing scene in Germany, and the raids were conducted Not against those the, people. Not uh, uh, AFD? That's what no, 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 absolutely not. We're talking Reichsburger. Okay. Um, literally translated, the citizens of the Reich. And oh, they shit. consider they consider Germany not to be like a legitimate state. It's a corporation to them. Uh, Germany exists in the borders from 1914. Wait, are these like sovereign citizens, the Germany version? This is, <laughs> it sounds like this is sovereign citizen Germany it's, edition. It's, it's, it's the thing, how many layers of sovereign citizens are you on right now, my dude? Like five or six? <laughs> you are like a little baby. Watch this. Reichsburger. <laughs> and yeah, and some of them like are really like into this esoteric Nazi shit. Yeah, Atlantis pyramids and Aryans descended from that, and the Eternal Jew is a cave dwelling troglodyte and something like Whoa, that. Whoa, sounds pretty neato. And yeah, those guys were arrested. It's not like really that anyone was fucking arrested for. But you like, weren't saying, arrested Haha. for this, unfortunately. But well, why? Why did it say? Uh, why did it say illegal opinions though? Right wing illegal opinions. Because um, I think it's a mistranslation, really. Because in Germany, for example, it is an quote unquote illegal opinion to say, hey, we should gas the Jews. <laughs> that is incitement, actually, and is punishable. It's illegal. And that is what is meant by that. Not just saying, hey, I don't like the European Union. I don't know. Oh, okay. you, in you... Germany, <laughs> yeah, but in, in Germany, could you hold a poll that said, should we gas the Jews? Or would that be an illegal opinion? It actually depends if you are representing a... Okay, so it's really complicated. Um, a, you can hold this poll in private, right? You can have a room with five people and be like, Hey guys, should we gas the Jews? You can do it via mail. You can just phone someone and say, Hey, my dude, should we gas the Jews? That's all fine. The moment it becomes quote-unquote public and public interest, so for example, uh, radio, Hey, should we gas all Jews, my dudes? Dab, dab, brah, brah. It, it's... It, yeah, that's illegal. That's actually illegal. In but but it's it's that's... not a statement of fact. You're not saying I want to gas them. You're just saying should we gas them? I I I think actually a good question. Because I, I, I guess what, what I'm getting at is like, do you have to use the Glenn Beck defense in Germany now, <laughs> where everything is framed as a where everything is framed as a question? I'm not saying <laughs> you brutally rape toddlers. I'm only asking if you do that kind of thing. <laughs> um. I, I would know. I know of one pre preceding case where someone was actually um, sentenced to, I think, <gasps> seven thousand five hundred euros 
for basically asking why has no one picked up i think he was very specific about some kind of rifle or some kind of explosive mm -hmm. and uh, and basically fortified the beaches against the foreign nigger hordes oh <laughs> <laughs> I know that that, that guy is pretty cool. <clears throat> so I, I really don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Uh, what are you well, guys going to do over there if they start applying this uh, kind of mentality to... Uh, like, I mean, if you're in sociology, what if they say you can't ask this or you can't study this, you can't pursue well, this certain we question? Know Layman I'm going to go back to German. Luxembourg. <laughs> yeah, he's going to leave. He's going to get the fuck out. As the fucking Slav he is, he's going to have to escape. What the fuck is with the Slav meme? You're definitely I... a Slav. I can tell from I can tell from some of your from some of your pronunciations and from having known um, many Slavs in my time. Um, you do okay, okay. I'm okay, speaking yeah. about eight languages, and yeah. I learned. Uh -huh. I never learned a language in the country it belongs to. As, I know. As fucking retarded I know. To myself. And you're Slav. I can tell originally where you're from. Okay. Okay. I'm a Slav. May, uh, oh, you're uh -huh. either a Slav or you're a Frenchman. It's one or the other. I that's that's a pretty big. That's it, a is pretty big it is a difference. It is a difference. But but his, his okay. Here's the thing. His inability to his inability to uh, differentiate between W and V is very Slavic. So Oof. I'm really really uh, banking on the Slavic interpretation. You know you're you're helping me out. Like, you, you are legitimately helping me out because my dogs are out. And I don't know your docs, dogs, dude, and I don't and care about them. The dog is fucking amazing. You know, you are... <laughs> Am I helping? Yeah, you are helping. Please continue. Okay, okay. So, based on my interpretation, your your uh, Give me pronunciation. The data. Give me the data. Yeah, my 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 just basic analysis of your uh, your linguistic uh, pronunciation of V's and W's is uh, is very Slavic. Oof. Oof. She's just oof. <laughs> I think you're Polish. That would be my guess. Oof. Oof, is it oh no, well? you you caused me. I am a dirty Polak. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh my really that oh, off. So in, your chat's taking guesses now. Uh somebody said Estonian. Yes, I am proud Estonian. Uh I, fuck, I don't know a single word Estonian. You can call me <laughs> retarded, I don't know. Uh Ed uh, Ender Wigan says uh Latvian. Yes, I am actually Latvian, yeah, you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> you hang out in Riga, do you? <laughs> yeah, I is Riga in Latvia? I believe it's, so. I don't, no, you, you're that's asking it. an American about geography. That's a terrible idea. No, we're, we don't know anything. We don't know where anything is. We, we know where McDonald's is located, and that's about it. <laughs> I know where the next. He's from Luxembourg. Is, is that it? You're from Luxembourg. Okay, never mind. Luxembourg for life, my dude. <laughs> All right. Okay. No, I mean, I mean, Kurva. Uh, Kurva. Yep, I would have yep, assumed yep, you were yep. Polish because of your mispronunciation of the V and W. But if you're if you're just uh, you know, you're Austrian, okay. You know, maybe I'm just a fucking retard. Have <laughs> you considered that? I've considered I'm a fucking retard, so I don't know. Yeah, but you're also a vermin. Vermin are fucking. Women retarded. are all retarded, so that's true. I, I don't know, Laidman. Can you can you confirm? Somebody said they bet your breath smells like uh, pierogies right now. Is that is that? <laughs> oh shit. Fuck. I Have bet, they got gotcha? you? I bet he's eaten pierogies within the last 12 hours. You know, but the, the, the thing is, Pirosi. actually, we, we talked about that, uh, Aiden. I actually got a bottle of Sliovice from Slovakia. Right, right. Today. So, yeah, this kind of corroborates the entire Slavic idea, doesn't it? I guess so. So, yeah. I still think you're secretly Slavic. Oof. But, I mean, if you're Austrian, that's, like, basically, like, gay German, but whatever. It is kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not gonna actually disclose that a part of my family is of Slavic descent, but uh, that's quite distant, actually. Oh, okay. I would have assumed. I actually really did assume that without knowing. Well, wait. Adidas how Slavic. how distant is it? Like, how many pairs of Adidas sneakers away would that be? <laughs> <laughs> like, we're talking like one drop rule would fuck me over. Okay. 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 I just assumed. I just assumed because you wouldn't say where you were from that you were Slavic. I say all the time where I'm from, you piece of shit. No, you've sometimes been a little bit secretive about it, so I assume... When? You have. N name a single instance. G give every, me time I, every time I've talked shit. to you. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, Morty. <laughs> 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 
Hey, uh, let's, uh, let's get hey, Jim, let's, let's do some multi-posting. Are you smart <laughs> enough for that? I, I don't know, man. I'm only on the second season. I gotta, you could have to, wait, let me catch up a little bit here. <laughs> is, is your oh, IQ enough to understand Rick and Morty? Oh, jeez, I don't know question. if Jim's ready to have this conversation about Rick and Morty. His IQ might not be high enough. <laughs> So to be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand, Rick. I, I'm actually surprised by how quick uh, that fan base is burned out. Like they, they, yeah. they, they, they got so shit on so quickly. They were so embarrassed about the entire world making them into a meme. I think they just yeah, gave they, up. They, they, they went down quickly. <laughs> but here's the question, uh, lay meme. Uh, do you have a high enough IQ to understand Rick and Morty? I think only Dan Harmon has a high enough IQ to understand Rick and Morty. It's very true. I know. Uh, also, what does you you did the perfect? Oh thing. wait, wait! I I love this question, uh, Doctor Lehman. They want <laughs> they want to know how many Soviet <laughs> rape removed are you from being a Slav? You know, all, all I can, all I can say, you know. <laughs> Something, something, Storm of Berlin? Something, something... <laughs> I don't uh, know. I mean, I actually am wondering, uh, Le Meme, was, were your parents raped by Russians? It, it, it's a long and sad story. <laughs> it starts in, 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 in the winter of 1944. <laughs> we're dealing with the real issues. This, this stream just got serious, folks. Yeah, let's, let's talk Jim, about that. Jim made the, the stream real. Yeah, how how does that make you? F let me be a, let me be in the social sciences. How does that make you feel? <laughs> hmm? Being a Soviet rape baby descendant. How does that how does that make you feel? I, I don't know something something white privilege. <laughs> well, you're not white then, because uh, Slavs aren't white, back. obviously. But also, Oof. not Anglo's aren't white either. So, like, what are we doing? Beady eyes, Anglo lies. <laughs> uh, really, you have to determine who is white. Listen, here's the thing. Um, I have this theory of, like, the white core land. Mm -hmm. And basically, um, imagine five square kilometers in the utmost north. Like, in the utmost, the northest north of fucking Norway. Mm -hmm. And everyone living in those five square kilometers is white. Yeah. And everyone else is a mongrel shitskin. Pretty much. Someone asked me, they said... Rick og Morty vertu af breina til hjerter. I don't know. Does that help? Can I... you answer, Dr. Lehman? <laughs> that, that's Icelandic, so I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, I, don't, I don't actually speak Icelandic, so... I speak a little bit, so... Um, I actually don't even know that, though, what they said. What is the... Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't even know. Oh, I'm too man. retarded at this the, point. The fucking... The fucking comment section is, just keeps giving Aiden. <clears throat> oh, Whitney read, read me your beautiful comments yeah. from about Paul Joseph Watson. You say there's no research or scientific evidence, but only cite, with, with an S, cite <laughs> three of his videos, of which I'm sure are the only ones you researched. Dot, dot. Okay, lame man, beta male, dot, dot, <laughs> winking smiley. I fucking love this so much. You, oh, the... you, lay meme, you beta male, how dare you ever, um, suggest Criticize that, based daddy that based Paul. daddy, Paul Joseph Watson and the mainstream meteor, <laughs> the mainstream meteor, <laughs> could possibly be incorrect. What's um, your opinion on, on Paul Joseph Wat Watts meme, Jim? <laughs> What's my opinion on Imagine My Shock Man? Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I I don't know. He kind of puts out the same video every day. It yeah, feels exactly. like, um, you know, he he seems pretty popular, but I don't really I don't really watch Paul's content. No, uh, and I thought he was. A, I, I thought he was. I, I thought he was kind of an idiot when he was defending Red Pill Black's um, website idea by saying, "Oh, it's yep. four years old. She didn't make any money, and it's not at all what you're saying." Like, come on, man. You can go fucking look for yourself. You're an idiot. Oh, my pronunciation sounded a bit Faroese. Sorry about that. But yeah, uh, yeah, Pharaoh. When I've been learning Icelandic, I also was learning Pharaoh. But uh, yeah, I think that uh, Paul's a little bit confused. 
maybe maybe he wanted a piece of it. You know what I mean? Maybe he's like, well, she is coming by Infowars. Maybe I'll take my shot. I don't know. But uh, I, I don't know why he'd defend the website. It was a terrible fucking website, app, idea, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's no different than um, People and Heart Mob, which is the same fucking thing. Let, let's uh, assign their identity to what they said and then shame them. Pretty much. Paul's kind of a retard. Uh, people in the chat saying, Paul is a good man. Good for him. Uh, and, and somebody else said that they believe Paul Joseph Watson is also a social scientist. He is, yeah, he probably is. He probably is a social scientist. No, he, he actually he, has no background in academia at all. Um, well, here's the whole is... thing. I think a part of the problem is between myself and, and Lamian is that we have both actually been through the process and the... Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's just say process. Let's go with that. Of academia. And uh, thereby we get a little bit... Um, irritated I, without being too overt. Oh boy, here, here we go with the fart huffing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Mm. I, I don't know if you're aware of this, but we were part of academia. Mm. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> alright. You're, you're, you're love... fucking this up. You're fucking this up. How am I fucking this? Okay, fuck you. Okay, here's the fucking thing is that we w went to fucking shitty school and had to go to like really fucking annoying classes that were really goddamn gay and had to fucking learn this shit and then other people come in and be like, oh, look, I thought of a thing and I didn't have to learn anything about it. Nor do I have to fucking show any indication of the things that I think in my head with scientific uh, evidence, but it's still real because I thought it. Yeah, it gets really fucking frustrating. To have to deal with shit like that. I think that's just jealousy. You're intimidated by Paul Joseph Watson's I am. intellect. I am very, I'm very uh, intimidated Jim, by Jim, Paul. Jim, um, if, if we ever meet, you, you, you got a beer with me. Um, you, yeah, I'll, I'll have a beer with you. I, I probably won't do uh, Oxy with you, but I'll have a beer with you. <laughs> name, name a single thing wrong with Oxy, you, you fucking coward. Uh, well, I probably wouldn't be mixing narcotics with liquor, would be the first start to that. Well, Jim, I'm only an alcoholic. I am not, like, a lamium. Uh, I'll only have uh, alcohol with you. <laughs> no, but they, they like, I, I, didn't, I was kind of touching on, like, a uh, somewhat really frustrating point. It's, like, if you want to be a political propagandist, I, I got no problem with that. Like, mm -hmm. shill for whatever you want. I, I, don't, I don't fucking care. The problem really becomes when people have this attitude of, the truth about, and then they don't provide the truth, but just their feelings. Right. And it's this weird mixture of the of this arrogance, this complete illiteracy on a scientific level, and worst of all, the audience just eating it up. It's just, I mean, look at fucking Paul. It's a piece of shit retard standing in front of a shitty map to make him seem smart, mm -hmm. and he just screams uninformed opinions in the camera like, "Imagine my shock when the." Religion of peace strikes again. It's like, okay, Paul. Okay, just, just, just calm down, buddy. Do you have a single fucking, just, just, just one no, piece of data to back you No, but look at my up. map. No, but look at my map and look at my mainstream media headlines. Like, what the fuck, Paul? Like his entire career is built around shaming and just shitting on the mainstream media, but every fucking source he uses, or basically almost every source he uses, is a fucking mainstream media news headline. And it's like, Paul, a headline is not a source, you retarded piece of shit. Go fucking hang yourself on your piece of shit dick. Fuck. Well, welcome to the age, well, welcome to the, age of the internet, though. It, it's not what's true, it's what's entertaining. You don't have to be right, you have to be funny. Absolutely. The onus is on the individual. I mean, you can't expect somebody... Like, that, that's the age we live in. You have to take it upon yourself to verify if something's true or not. That's why I love mm -hmm. making... Um, fake videos and fake screenshots and putting them up because it's funny as shit watching that propagate and then people's reactions to it. I, I yeah, put up a fake true. Cuphead review uh, mm -hmm. which literally if you read the fucking Cuphead review at the very end of it it said the game reviewer gave it 4 out of 10 Mortys which <laughs> is a clear indication that it's fake but it got spread everywhere. People were so angry at uh, Rock Paper Shotgun like how could they write this? How uh, dare like, they just, give just... it only 4 out of 10 Mortys? Yeah, just read a little a little further down. Or I did one with Jim Sterling where I, I made him, I took basically his review for uh, Zelda and gave it to Super Mario Odyssey. Mm -hmm. And people got so fucking mad. It's like, like, you gotta, you know, just take a second. Go go check it out yourself. It's funny Wait, watching that reaction. He still gets in a bunch of people pissy at him for giving uh, 
Breath of the Wild a 7 out of 10. Yeah, that was the point. I gave yeah. Mario a 7 out of 10 uh, as Jim Sterling and then wrote something saying it was the worst Mario game for the shittiest system ever. <laughs> and people people yelled at him for a day and a half about it. That's amazing. Holy shit. I can't believe you got away with that. That's great. Uh, well, no, that, that's a fun. The same thing with uh, when all those, uh, like, there were a bunch of um, immigrant attacks in Germany, like, last year. Mm -hmm. And I took this news clip from a German police officer talking about it. And I just kept using the same clip over and over again and then editing in English subtitles where at the end of it he said uh, stuff like diversity is our strength. And people got so angry. They're like, oh, my God, Germany's gone to shit. It's like, dude, all you have to go do is look at the video clip to see that's bullshit. But what that, are you... That's why you do an excellent job at, at what you essentially do, Jim, is that like you just break the Internet all the time. Enjoy. Well, it's like, about, it's about having fun, man. You, you, it you, is about it's having, having fun. A, You're right. Having a, a fucking laugh. Um, having a giggle, <laughs> mate. Is that what you're saying? I, I felt I felt no remorse for people that were dumb enough to believe a fucking fake review that rates a game on a Morty scale. Like, oh, <laughs> what, are you, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, some of them are just fucking retarded, dude. I don't know what else to do. But no, I think you're. It's a what your um, if you want to call it your goal or just your 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 outlook on things is good and it's necessary because yeah again to me it reminds me of 4chan in 2005 you know of this is what this shit was originally about and we have so much forgotten um, oh yeah somebody's saying uh, to be fair germany has gone to shit anyway I, yeah you know that that's true to an extent um but the easiest way uh <laughs> the easiest way to sell a lie is to make it a little bit truthful mm -hmm. like people will believe what you tell them as long as it's in line with what they already, you know, preconceive it as being. So, like, if they think that Germany is some multicultural shithole, yeah. and you put up a fake clip of a German officer saying that, uh, you know, some Somali teen butchering people with an axe is just an act of diversity, yeah. as ridiculous as that is, they'll believe it more. You know, uh, the but, comment you just read, Jim, is, like, exactly the, like, the, the prime example of this sort of really shitty attitude of like, yeah, maybe this one thing was fake, but it doesn't change that, th that you know, the other thing is still true. And it's like, okay, but at the same time, it doesn't change the fact that you bought a lie, you know, a very easily disconcertable lie. You could just, just tell that it's a lie. You still fell I, for I, it. I, I think my favorite one was, I got an MSNBC reporter, um, this was the night before, you know, when they did the torchlight rally in Charlottesville, like mm -hmm. the night before everything went down. Mm -hmm. uh, and there, yeah, there's a picture of this black kid standing in front of the statue, pushing back like the people with the torches. And she was like, she put up a tweet saying, look how brave this black youth is standing up to these neo-Nazis. And I tweeted her and I said, no, you don't understand. That's base Terry, the mod of uh, <laughs> R the Donald. And he organized the event. He's not protesting them. He's getting them to come together to sing white nationalist songs. Mm -hmm. nice. And she pulled she pulled down her fucking, she bought it. She pulled down her tweet because people went along with it and you know, were saying, like, why are you talking about Base Terry? But Poor reporters are dumb as shit, too. Like, this is a fucking person that works at MSNBC, and they got embarrassed out of reporting on something because of some bullshit shit post. Yeah, sorry, people heard me on my fucking Twitter of my, like, eh, ah, someone sent, uh, Mitch sent it to me. Uh, yeah, that was me. Uh, however, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned, yeah, I don't understand, um, how, it seems as though people, they don't quite understand how the internet works a little bit. Um, and I don't know what the fuck to do to help those people in terms of being like, did you understand that, like, yeah, well, why? What are you trying to help them for? You should be sitting back and enjoying a laugh. That's the best mentality to take with the That's internet. True. It's gonna do what it's gonna do. That's true. That's true. That is it's true. all it's all moving towards some weird kind of dystopian. Here's my name, and I can have no anonymity shit anyway. So you might as well enjoy it while it lasts. I guess that's true, and I I do um I am worried about that a little bit uh in that. I'm worried that we are going to lose all of our ability to remain even pseudonymous. That there's no ability left to have any anonymity. Well, right. I mean, look at like trying to sign up for a fucking uh, any site now, like social media or even email accounts. They want your fucking phone number, and like you have to verify certain shit now. Uh, in certain places, it goes to absurd levels of fucking wanting IDs. Mm -hmm. It's just so weird. It's so fucking 
disturbing. Like just, you don't need that for me to have an account or to use your service. You just want to be controlling. It's like, I'm going to tattle on you if you don't behave. And I just, I hate that. It, it's that snotty kid in the fucking class that would run to teacher. That's what social media has become. Yeah, more or less. Anyway, um, I'm going to say I'm getting drunk and I need to go to bed. Uh huh. Oh, you lightweight. You fucking lightweight. Layman is. Layman Layman drank a bottle of whiskey and took 38 pills. What are you doing? I know he probably did. I'm in the prime of my fucking life right now. Okay, Layman, how. how, No, you're not. You're fucking as ripped as got. He's got eight heroin needles sticking out of his kneecaps. Come on, you can can handle this stream. I I am drugs. (laughs) He's become drugs. I am the drug. My point is, I'm a little bit. Don't Sleepy. be a fucking pussy. Snort some coke, drink a cat, and, and come back. I don't have any alcohol left. I have to go take a nap. Wait, did you just say drink a cat? <laughs> don't judge, man. Don't judge. <laughs> well, he is trying to fart on his cat, so... You know, we, oh, that's uh, that's going to be a fun game we tonight. We don't, we don't talk about my cat. My cat is subscriber only. He does terrible things to his cat. We, sh- we need to be oh, clear about that. Fuck off. No, we know about what you do to your cat, <laughs> layman. We know that you okay. farted on it, at least. Oh wait, you guys have been doing this for three hours? Wow. Yeah, that's why I'm tired. I'm fucking exhausted. I can't. I get too sleepy. Oh, you, you get a little too sleepy. Yeah. I get a little sleepy, fucking, Jim. I get a little sleepy. Fucking, fucking weak. You gotta, you gotta, uh, yeah, you gotta man up. You know, I did the, uh, I did the fucking election night stream. Ex- that was like nine hours. Yeah. Nine right hours. Brightside Bob, Brightside Bill. What do you call yourself? Brightside Bill works. Brightside Whatever. Bill. Right, I want to make sure that I don't get your name wrong. Uh, Bryce said, Bill, uh, I, I don't think I could have done the... El- I think I'm getting too old. I feel old and sad. Aren't you, like, 20-something? You're, like, a 20-year-old, right? I'm In your 20, 20s. I'm 27. You're getting too old? You haven't, I, it's, like, I a quarter of your life. Well, I think I'm dying, honestly. But it's, like, that's enough. <laughs> God, if you think you're Lame, old at 27, Lame, no, by, the time, you're, Lame, by how, the time you're... Lamey, how... Lamey, you're, what, 29? Yeah, uh, late twenties. Yeah. Okay, you won't tell me the exact age. All right. No. All right. Because I hate you. I hate you too. <laughs> okay. No, we... I hate you more. Uh, no, I hate you more. Okay. Uh, we're gonna shut down the stream then. Uh, and also I'm gonna okay. we're gonna uh describe our internal hatred for each other as soon as it stops. Okay. Thank you guys, everybody. Uh, by no. the way, almost no. Fuck you, lay meme. Streaming. No, fuck you. Oh my god. We're now. gonna have a fuck fucking up. fight. No. Okay. Now we're gonna have a fucking fight. No, it's, here we go. It's gonna about to happen. It's it gonna is, happen it, offline though. There's not gonna be be a fight. This is my stream now. Fuck off. No, okay. Are we stream? Well, you you can't stream on your channel because you've got a fucking strike. Yeah. So. So where is this gonna stream? Where's the stream gonna happen? Here. Where? On your channel, right on now. On my channel, right? Okay. All right. Hang on. Where's? All right. Let's let's go. Let's have a square go. Like, how are we fighting? No, I'm not even fighting with you. I'm just telling you this is my channel now. Oh, it's not your channel now. Okay, how is it your channel? Uh, fight me for it. <laughs> my, I don't think you understand how this works. I don't think you understand you're how a, this works. You're a vermin. This Go is the my fucking channel. And, no. And leave the, no, leave you, the men to No, me. you're Fuck in off. fucking Germany, which is like, how many fucking parentheses mm. do I have to put that word in? <laughs> okay, that's legit. You're in some shite country. What am I supposed to do? Oh, hurt nothing. Just give me your channel. Fuck off. No, why don't you? Uh, why don't you get a move to a better country? Come here. No. Come here. Your country is just as yeah. low fifty six percent face. Fuck F- off. Whoa! <laughs> holy shit! How dare you, low fifty six percent face? Uh, how many whites are in Germany at this point, motherfucker? Um, More than in fucking America, you cunt. I don't think so, bitch. I think so. Your Both country, your country and is absolutely. full of fucking uh, mudslimes, so come on. I, I don't know. Aiden might have a point here. Are white people still allowed in the caliphate of Germany? <laughs> oh, insulting it. Oh, 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 layman claims to not be a Slav, so what is he? Uh, I'm actually Austrian. a Turk. A proud, He's an Austrian, a proud which makes him not white still, <clears throat> probably. I mean. Mate, Austrians are just honorary Turks, to be honest. To be honest, Austrians are just. Uh, Fucking goddamn, uh, yeah, cockroaches. My Austrians are just the Jews of the semi mountains. Yeah, pretty much. Just cockroach. Cockroach? Is it like a rich made of cocks? Yeah. I mean, that would okay. explain you pretty well, wouldn't it? 
Oof. Oof. <laughs> Just a roach made of cocks. Oof. I mean, that would be kind of... I would like to see that. I, I mean, like, well, like, all the legs are little cocks, right? I mean, I, I'm not attracted <clears throat> to it, but it's like... It's, interesting. it's like a cock rush. You just can't, you know, look away. No, it's interesting. It's more interesting than anything else. But this doesn't change the fact that this is my stream now, so... No, fuck you! This is my... Still, it's always going to be my stream. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I can no. I can see why you two are online married. <laughs> Fuck off, Jim! I'm gonna I'm gonna rub your belly, you you fucking cunt. <laughs> well, don't you have a cat to snort? <laughs> I mean, cunt. I don't snort cats. I just drink cats. I don't you just farted on the cat. I didn't know what you did to it. I didn't fart on it. <laughs> fucking cunt. Fart, <laughs> young. Fucked good. Did you fart on the cat or not? I'm, I'm gonna leave that up to your imagination. I think you farted on the cat. I think it's true. I'm gonna... Okay, so I, I can read from you on one thing. The only story that's actually true is my cat is a fucking cunt. I hate her. <laughs> oh, him, rather. It's it's a horrible waste of space, and it's like a literal <laughs> real-life troll. Like, uh, her entire, his entire life consists of nothing of but, but fucking me up, right? So at one point, I bought this really scary and weird um, uh, cat mask from Amazon. <laughs> no, you stole and... this from a webum I've seen. Fuck you. No, actually. Well, maybe that webm was him. <laughs> we said, time to feed my babies. <laughs> you know this webm I'm talking I... about. Oh, you don't? Mm. Hang on, I'll find it real quick. <laughs> really, no. You know this one of them. There's no way you don't. Oh my god. Okay. Here you go. I posted it in the in chat. Red... In the chat. Oh, jeez. Yeah, go watch this. What uh, What chat? Which one? The uh, stream chat? The, um, the call chat? The, yeah, the stream chat. It's time to feed my babies. Cat dad feeds his kitties in a cat mask. You you mean the 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 stream chat that's just moving so fast? I literally can't. No no no! It was only to you. It was in the uh, in the uh... call chat. Yeah, the call chat hangouts. Your ha hangout design is fucked. There's no chat here. Okay, I'll send it to you in DMs then, my <laughs> nigga. Actually, okay, actually, what the fuck? I, I'm go. actually watching it right now. Yeah, there you what go. The fuck. You're welcome. No, it, it's not the same mask. My mask is way more simplistic. That's just fucking wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Time to feed my babies. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it on stream real quick because there might still be people here. Um, is there anybody still watching? Okay. Uh, you've got like you've got like 300 watching you right now. Uh, it's actually pretty low, but the the problem is that yeah. Okay, we'll play this real quick. Uh, time to feed my babies. This is Layman. This is actually a video of him. Uh, time to feed my babies. I think you're scared of me. <laughs> They've never seen this man. <laughs> <before. laughs> nice technical skills. We're back to this, are we? How did you make that? S that that's so small. It's like you. <laughs> how are you fucking this up this badly? Uh, fuck you, Jim. I'm, I'm this is awful. <laughs> what are you doing? Dang it! I'm trying to like. I don't know. Do the thing. I, I tried my hardest. I tried so hard and I got so far. I'm not trying to make it full screen because then I get uh, struck with copyrights, man. Oh yeah, I suppose that happens. Uh, particularly when, yeah, certain people get really, really fucked with that shit. As I have. Haha. <laughs> so, so you're gonna go Aiden, sleep the night off then? What, what, is that what your plan what, is? Oh, fuck no. off, Jim. You I don't know. I actually have combat. a video I'm supposed to record, but now I'm no, tired. No, 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 no. No, 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 Layman. I, I'm in control now. Uh -oh. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. I I'm conversation now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> No, but, but, but what, what have we learned, Aiden? What did we learn about what? 
that this is my stream now. I don't, you wanted it... to go to sleep, but we watched a fucking cat video, so fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> it's true. It's true, but I'm the one who supplied the cat video. I am the one who knocks. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. I mean, we have yeah, to always admit that, like, the whole thing is that it's just a weird, uh, sexual, uh, steeplechase going on here. What? Nobody knows what a steeplechase is. What? Do I have to Google that? I do not understand. I do not associate with niggers. Wow, <laughs> fuck you. Okay, a steeplechase is a distance horse race in which competitors are required to jump diverse fences and ditch obstacles. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's just admit, you and I are in, are in a, a continual ongoing steeplechase, sexual steeplechase, where nobody wins and nobody loses. Okay. Yeah, it's what's happening, lay meme. You know this. Okay, consider me fucking iron pills out of existence, okay? Yeah, fuck off. What the fuck so, is the uh, point what, of this? What's, what's the next topic we're talking about? I thought we're going to bed. No, we aren't. This God. is my stream. Oh, it's your stream now. Then I have to go yeah. fucking get a drink. Yep. Yep. Fucking finally. I want, oh, I want to talk about... Okay, great. All right. Okay, great. I'll be right back. All right. I have to fucking go have a fucking drink. Or go get one. Dang it. Fine. Be right back. Yeah. I hope you learned your place, Vamin. <laughs> so it's just us, Jim. Let's let's be totally straight. Um, how 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 big is now? Your it, it, is it, is it possible straight? for you to be totally straight if you like traps? Because uh, I mean, based on that earlier conversation, I think we've already established. My man, like I I gotta give you like it's it's you got way 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 further than most people did. Like the, the dick question just fucks up just about everyone. But I mean. Like, you can't deny, if if the penis is feminine, you know, you, you gotta suck it. <laughs> well, yeah, there's nothing gay about that, of course. Yeah. Feminine penises, what are you gonna do? Like, I mean, if it's just cute, you know, maybe a little ribbon, you know, maybe some sprinkles on top of it, you know, some, some sparkler, sparkle stuff, you know. There's nothing gay about that. Now, you should be asking the chat questions, because they, they keep trying to talk to you two, but it, it, the awkward sexual tension of when you two are going to fuck keeps interrupting them getting their questions I answered. I, I, don't, I don't care about Aiden's chat. My audience is better anyway, so... Bra, bra, dab! Bra, bra, dab! Oh, fuck. Dab. Shots fired at the chat. F fucking shots. I'm... 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 Uh, low gang for life. Team 10 sucks. <sighs> Uh, people in chat saying it's not gay if balls touch, or uh, if they don't touch. I mean, I mean is that true? That's, that's, is that is that how the conversation usually goes? It's, it's such a basic bitch argument. This haha, balls touch, balls don't touch. Have you ever considered like, what if the balls are feminine too? Hmm? Fucking scrub. I, uh, well, I'm trying to you know think of a situation where two dudes' balls touch and it's not sexual. Like you don't usually go yeah, around with your balls imagine, hanging out, slapping them against I, other dudes. I, well, I've got a dozen situations. Oh. Shut up, Aiden. Imagine the following, right? You are this muscular, but but still kind of vulnerable, emotional, but caring, uh, kind of like one meter eighty-five tall, really muscular, nice-looking dude, and you, for some reason, you are out there in the ocean, you're swimming, and suddenly you get a cramp, and you're like, oh no, I'm gonna, ah, oh, I'm gonna die, I have to. Uh, un uh, uncramp my leg therefore I will drop my pants and you of course like any sensible person you remove your pants and the lifeguard Sounds notices you right convenient. Yes. Drag drags you on the shore and he's like fuck I gotta give him like mouth to mouth and CPR and whatnot. but my pants ah oh, they are so so uh, uh, they are uh, they are I don't like them I don't like my pants <laughs> <laughs> and just, you know, undresses and gets rid of the pants. Well, lay, Layman, you know, her chat's calling you out. I know you said they're not your audience, but they want you. They they don't think you have the balls to answer the, the JQ. They want an answer to the JQ. I, 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 have a, I, I don't have an answer to it, but I have a solution The fact to is it. that we have all, <laughs> have a solution to it. As, given by, as given by Jim, we have all answered the JQ. All of us so-called alt-radies. I don't know. We've all like, answered it. Hey, um, I, I can actually give you a somewhat serious opinion. Um, I think that Jews are in many way 
like I'm, I'm just talking about um, confessional Jews, not about heritage Jews. Uh, confessional Jews are overrepresented in much of higher level uh, economy, politics, uh, even science and uh, media. But yeah, that's really all I can say about that. I I haven't really looked into it if there's like some shade. This is such and... this is such a diplomatic answer. It okay, really is. okay, I feel you. I see where you're coming from here. I'm I'm like uh, even if I wasn't like in in Germany or at least it's a partial, great I'm answer. Actually... It's a very good diplomatic, very very German answer. I'm actually in Switzerland right now, so. Oh okay. Yeah. No, that was I, quick. I mean, like... <laughs> No, I mean, like, legitimately, um, I, I think nothing should be above scrutiny. And if you want to talk about the quote-unquote Jewish question, then you should be allowed to do so. Um, as long as you're, of course, answering garbage, we have to kill them all, <laughs> because I have bought water filters and Alex Jones and... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, but that's such, a, that's such a misrepresentation. And the whole problem is that, like, it gets to the point where somebody like Jim can't even come into a group of, of quote, alt-right people, of which I do not consider myself a part of, and ask, what is your opinion on the JQ? And our, our, our response is not going to be, oh, fuck. Because it should be a question that you're allowed to fucking uh, ask. Uh, we're just generally not allowed to ask it. Yeah, I, I, I liked I how JF argue. was the only one that uh, <laughs> went for a full answer on that one. I, I know. I think we, we all answered it. We just answered it in different ways. By the way, thank you, um, uh, Mr. Henriksson, for the $2. You lost the debate, layman. Go to bed, he says on Streamlabs. Uh, JF just was a little bit more... He was uh, more aggressive than the rest of us were. And the rest of us were being a little bit more egalitarian on it, I think. Your mum gay. <laughs> Fuck you, faggot. <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I never really understood, like, simply speaking, by um, stigmatizing a topic, the only thing you do about it is removing it from public discourse, and the only way to properly discredit an idea or a talking point is by having it in public discourse, so you're making it just stronger. Well, like we know my... this. We know this from social psychological research in terms of what is psychological reactance theory. Absolutely. So the more that you make an idea um, <laughs> hidden, the more interesting it becomes inherently. Not only that, but it also becomes a t uh, it it ha it got, it gets this touch of it's the truth, right? You finally arrived at the truth. You finally uh, peek behind the veil of mainstream media, and what you found was glorious. It was Paul Joseph Watson standing in front of a land <laughs> talking to it's you. It's so beautiful. About fucking refugees. When I get to see Paul Joseph Watson standing in front Boy, of a bunch of refugees. Yeah, then I know that's real. Outside of that, it's all fakes. Fakesies. Lies. Fake news, it's, to be honest. I need to have my tinfoil hat on, otherwise you're fucking lying to me. Well, I, I've enjoyed this, getting the, um, what would we call it, the social science pill from you two. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to go play some Nio. I'm going to go play me Sounds some video good. games. I think but, we're, we're all going to go. It's been oh, no, you, you can't. This is layman's stream now. Remember, he told oh, you that. Oh, shit, right. You've got to drink all night with him. You can't damn you can't it. pussy out. You've got to do it all night. I don't have any... Damn it. Because no. he's not, he's not going to be around in the morning after the things he said on the stream once Merkel finds out. So you might That's as well true. enjoy the time with him. Well, you got it. You no, know, I should clarify two things. A, everything that, she, or rather, most of what I said was was a joke, of course. Mama Merkel, you can check my browser history. You know exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. Um, and Aiden, mm -hmm. no, I don't want to spend this entire thing with you. I, you. You're not, you know, fun. Jim was fun, but you suck. Oh fuck I'm you, Layman! Fuck... You totally want to fuck me. Let's not let's not play around and fuck around with this shit. Dead silence. Okay. All right. <laughs> I guess the, I guess the crickets answered your question. That was a little embarrassing. Okay, <laughs> somebody, somebody cut that out and uh, throw that up on we'll, Twitter. We'll, we'll, we'll throw that away. Uh, thanks for coming on, Jim. I really appreciate it. It was very yeah. Funny. No, I, I I had fun with you guys. Uh, have have a good evening. Uh, try Me not too. to uh, to drink yourselves into a hangover, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and enjoy snorting that cat. So well, take we, it easy. Well, I won't snort the cat, but I'm sure Layman will. Uh, thank you as always, Jim. It's good to talk to you.